We're live. We are live. Oh my god. Are we live? We are live. Yeah. Hi y'all. Oh wait. Well, it's going to come on, mom. Okay. So, <laughs> mom's like, I can't see you up there. She's watching on TV. Hi Angela. I see Angela's in the I chat. I see Angela. <laughs> Angela. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. Feedback galore. Feedback. Can you hear me okay? Yep, it was me. I had my volume on. Sorry, folks. <laughs> That's okay. It's it's our Angela. She she came to see. She came to play. Angela, are you still here? Or did you leave us? No, I think I'm sure she's still here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just give it a minute and see if anybody wants to come in and, and, and say Dolores Howie is here. She says, What's going on? Hello. Dolores, <laughs> how you doing, Dolores? We decided to come on. Hey, Tammy. Tammy, yay. Okay. She's like, well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know why you didn't answer earlier, Tammy. I gave you a ring. But I guess you're never going to find out what I was going to tell you. And it was <laughs> juicy. It was juicy. You'll never know. Hi, Teresa. Thanks for Hi, coming. Hi, Teresa. Yay. So exciting. Well, you know what? And I, I here's the thing. I've got my second haul from Vintage Bulldog. And, and I'm pretty boy, excited. Let me tell you, you got some great things from the first yeah. box. Tammy is trying to slander me in the chat. <laughs> Martha. Hey, Martha. Christy's a bully. People got to sleep. Listen, you should be up and at them by the time I call you in the morning at 8:30. Okay. You I'm giving you a head start on the day, Tammy. <laughs> and I'm calling you like, hey, lady. And I say, good morning. She told me the same thing, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> Angela. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you better be here. Sometimes you have to talk people into things that they don't know that they want. <laughs> or that they don't know they need. They don't know that they need. And they needed to be here. Okay. Yep, Tammy gets mad at me if I don't show up at her show. I can't tell you how many conversations start with Tammy's like, you don't come to my sales. And I show up. I just end up falling asleep because, you know, I need to sleep, but I still show up. Tammy or Martha says, you better not call me in the morning. <laughs> Martha. Martha's not going to answer. No, wait. Martha did answer. She just answers to make sure that everything is okay and that everyone's still alive. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, I've got to go back to sleep. <laughs> And that's okay. But see, she answers. Tammy doesn't even answer. Tammy don't even answer. I get this this uh, this call, this uh, record. It says, this is Tam Tam's Creations. And, <laughs> and, and you know, we're going to have to work on that recording, Tammy, because I just don't feel it. I don't feel like you're excited that people call. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to have a voicemail like in Friends. Joey and Chandler record a hilarious voicemail. And I think that would be really funny. But what I really want is Nate to record something. <gasps> Nate did one for me. Oh, my God. Do you want to hear it? Yes. We need to hear your voicemail. He left me one. He left. But I don't know how to put it on my phone phone. Do you know? What, but I played it for everyone at work. It's so cute. Hold on. Wait. I will I will find it for you. So you can, so must, you can hear it. We must hear Nate's voice. And I, I'm sure there's a way. Like if you... I uh, recorded it, uh, held the phone up next to a microphone and then did like an audio recording and saved it. There has to be a way. I it's hope so. Old and I'm not excited for calls. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And Martha says I'm, I'm the right home call. <laughs> yeah, he's the right. He, she's the right home call. You know, and she's so sweet. She would give me a ride home. I don't think Tammy would come and get me. I just don't think so. She doesn't love me as much as Martha loves me. I can I can feel Michelle. that Martha loves me more. <laughs> hey, Emancipation, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Michelle, I'm going to show you the stuff. Wait till y'all see. Just wait. I'm very Just excited. Wait. This is going to be a good haul, you guys. Okay. This is Nate's voice. And it's fantastic. Okay. I don't think he'd mind me letting you hear it. Now, he gave me two versions. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. They're both fantastic. Now, see, this is stuff reason for people to tune in for this. Okay. This is this is a late night. This is great, man. You're dead wrong. And you're like, she's like, I would make you beg. You sure would make me beg. See, Martha would show up and she'd say, 
Christy, let me get you Starbucks because you had a hard day that you had to call me. And I'd be like, yes, Martha, because I wouldn't have bugged you. And, you know, Tammy could, well, no, Tammy lives kind of far too. But Martha would come. Martha is like, if something bad happens, you can call Martha and she will pick up the phone. <laughs> Tammy's like, if I'm not at a garage, then I answer. <laughs> No, I really love them both. I love them both and I bug them every single day. So just know people that I talk to these people just about every single day. And that's the reason we kid around like this, but that's the only reason. Okay, I'm, let's hear Nate. I'm a nice person. Okay, okay, you ready? Let me make sure, where's the speaker on this thing? Cause I really wanna get, it. okay, here it goes. Oh, let me turn it up. You gotta, I gotta turn it up. Yeah, we gotta turn it up to hear Nate. Okay, here it goes. I want it play. Hold on. Oh. Christy is currently unavailable. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I had it turned down. Okay, here it is. Greetings. Welcome to the voicemail box of Christy Gaza. Christy is currently unavailable, but your call is important to her. Please leave a message after the tone. How fantastic is that voice? Oh, my God, that's fantastic. No, that was the business one. Now, listen to this one. This is... <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Greetings. You have reached the voice mailbox of Christy Gaza. Christy is currently screening her calls. There's somebody she just doesn't want to talk to. If you don't receive a return call, it's probably you. Please leave a message after the tone. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. How fantastic is that? And I love the way he says my name. Christy Gaza. I love it. How love fantastic me. is his voice? How fantastic, fantastic is that voice? Yeah, I need, I need to get a voicemail from Nate. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Isn't it great? It's so great. His voice Nate, is Nate's like great. butter. It's like, it butter. It's like butter. And so <sighs> delightfully wonderful. He's got a fantastic voice fantastic i know right michelle it's hilarious <laughs> now everybody's gonna be calling they're gonna be blowing up his phone like i need one of these i need one of these <laughs> DMs now, i told me he could start a business doing voicemails for people that's a good side hustle you gotta use what you got use that accent yeah yep cameo the vintage community <laughs> that's right michelle but her just voicemails yes I don't know, Tammy, since you won't come pick me up if I need you. I don't know if I can arrange for Nate to make you a recording. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Okay. So seriously, we're here to show what I got. Now, look, the box I had from Vintage Bulldog was huge. The second one. Okay. Hi, Sabrina. Thanks for Hi, coming. Hi, Sabrina. I have to put my glasses on because I really can't see that well. Okay. So... <laughs> Uh, okay, so it was kind of big, but the reason it was so big is because I got some stuff that was a little larger. Okay, Angel's like, show some stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show now. First of all, I gotta show you. Look at, I mean, well, I don't even have to look at Katie. Is she not beautiful in that whole? Oh, outfit? Thanks, Christy. oh my god, this is my favorite outfit, y'all. Yeah, my favorite outfit. Christy loves this not, not mine. My mom says got. my mom says not mine. Katie's. <laughs> yeah, it, it's the ones with the dots that she just loves. She loves I love dots. it in the red hat and the lips are popping. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold your Heineken, Angela. Yeah, Angela. You always make me wait for stuff. You're like, in a minute, in a minute. Okay, here we go. Now, all right. I love you all so much. It's crazy. Okay, here it goes. Now, there was some really cute stuff that I was like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Now, remember, I got this dirt cheap. I mean, she had a great sale. And I was like, what? Everything. And 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 it was a virtual sale just for the people who weren't here the last time. And um, and you know, he she would pan the 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 phone around, okay? And so like her 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 camera around so we could all see. So here it is. Last stuff in the box. First off, okay, I don't think there's anything in this. Just to make and sure I, you I heard about this. I missed this live, but everybody was talking about this after it happened because it was so great. Fantastic. 
Okay, this is super cute. And I kind of like this for my art supplies, okay? Look! Oh, a little suitcase. It's a little suitcase. Is that not the cutest? Sorry, this is a little packing peanut. Isn't it adorable? Oh. Now, look, Tipper's clothes would be so cute in that. It would be cute in that. His it little could be bag. Suitcase. He has things. And look at how darling it is, okay? Number one. Look at this. And it has the little straps. Remember, like in the old days, the little oh. straps? Well, and it says, case. what does it say? Penguin Travelers uh, Division of VB Handball and Brother Inc. New York, New York. That is darling. It's so cute, isn't it? And it's got the little pocket in the front. Isn't that cute? Oh, oh, I love that. This was $10. And I thought, this is so cute. I loved it. Okay. Now, also got, let me see, where is it? Okay. Now, remember, this is a big box, but there wasn't a ton in it. Okay. This is beautiful. And I just showed Katie because I had unwrapped it. Now, look, it did have a chip, and she totally told me it had a chip. And the chip just got, like, you know, a little bit bigger in the travel but it's gorgeous and I could totally like cover this up. This would be an easy fix for me. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm from the school of D where, listen, you can put yeah. everything with a little bit of paint. Okay. That's right. Paint does it all. Paint does it all. Look at this. Oh, that is so great. How fantastic is this mid-century? And it's huge y'all. This is like for a party. You can have a party. You're gonna yeah. That, I was going to say, you can have like, you know, 10 of your closest friends. <laughs> I mean, it's this big, right? And here's the chip. But like I said, I can easily fix that. It, there was like a big hunk that kind of came out, but it, it's fine. I can fix that. But isn't it beautiful? Man, that's gorgeous. And you know, very mid-century. I love it. It's, you know what I would put in this too, Katie? I kind of feel like if you found the right figural flower frog, Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm sure they made like, well, they have ceramic ones and I have like some ceramic ones, but how great would that be? I mean, if you could set it in there, right. Do you know what I'm saying? And you could even get the long bar ones that are not, oh. that are the pen type flower frogs. And then you could set some like um, vintage postcards and I'm like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be perfect. Or, or like an Ikebana, like a uh, Ikebana um, arrangement. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, like simple, like it's like very simple, like an orchid or something like that. And then you put oh, like, yeah. very simple. How beautiful would that, that be? That would be just gorgeous. Yeah. It's an, it's an ashtray, Dolores. It's an ashtray, but it's huge. But I love the figure of flower frogs. And I just think that'd be gorgeous, but it, it would be lovely. It's just a very simple centerpiece. I, I love this. And definitely, I think, you know, you can do something with it because it's so cool. It's just so mid-century. It's beautiful. I love well, it. Carrie said she thought this was going to be live tomorrow. Yes, I I got talking with Christy and uh, messed her up. <laughs> she, no, she got, it, was, it was me. You know, I'm not good at this. Oh, can I see that, that on the coffee table with Tara or <laughs> Right? Right? No, it would be pretty. Oh, it totally sets the mood for that. <gasps> Halloween, Katie. <gasps> Oh yes, Halloween. With the flower frogs with the with the little cards, like my my wow. Halloween card. Oh my god, I didn't think about that book. You are on it. See, she knows. Yeah, she knows. Well, Alice, she's got the vignettes all. Oh my out. gosh, can you imagine with like some vintage like tarot card? Like you know, it looks really cool looking. You know oh, what I'm that saying? That would be so fun for Halloween, right? Like one of those really pretty ones. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then let me see. Okay. And then I got this. Okay. And I thought this was just cutesy and kitschy. And um, look at this. It's very 1960s. Look. Oh, the fruit and the carrot. Look, isn't it cutesy? I have to say, I love the little olives. <laughs> I know those olives are everything, aren't they? Oh. See, I just love that. Now, I see, just... that's the kind of thing you bring to a party. And you've got, you know, your your hummus and your carrots and the Absolutely. whole kit and caboodle. Like, that is so handy. It's it's so cute. And it's made out of, like, what is this stuff? It's not like a plastic. It's Melamine? 
Yes. Yes, because it's got like if you put it up to the light, you can kind of see the little thready kind of things, but it's like a thinner one. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I read that if it's melamine, it's not the name brand of the material. I think Melmac was the, am I right on this, folks? Yeah, the, Melmac. The brand. Yeah, so that's very cool. But yeah, it's it's like sturdy. It's not like one of the cheapy plastic ones you get like at the Dollar Tree or something, you know? Yeah, I, no, it was. I, I messed it up, Michelle, and I put it like for tomorrow. And then Katie, I'm like, Katie, no one's in the, in the room waiting in the chat room. We're going to be talking to ourselves. And she said, well, you have it scheduled for tomorrow. I just saw that. So I rescheduled. Yeah, I looked and I was like, it says live in 23 hours. And I know. Hours. Bad, all. It, but you know what? I did that. I scheduled a show and tell for uh, 930 a.m. And there was like 10 people in the chat. And then I even got texts from people saying, are you okay? You're not live. And I'm like, I'm not live because it's 1030 in the morning. And they're like, well, you're supposed to be live. And I was well, like, now. oh, let me fix that. Okay. Now, okay. This is another cutie that I got from the sale. And I'm telling you, y'all, everything was so dirt cheap. You have no idea. I mean... I'm telling you, the Midwest, I won't even go on because I did that in the last video. But, you know, they got the good stuff. And then they you do. should see Angela. When she go right, Katie? <laughs> Angela finds, like, swung vases at the thrift store for a buck. I'm like, man. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, what's that guy? What do you think? Should I get this? I'm like, duh. <laughs> we just don't find that kind of thing here. We don't find that kind of thing here. Okay, this is super cute. I want to say she gave this, like, she sold it to me for $4. I think it was a little bit less. Watch. Can you see it? Okay. It's hard to see with the, with the. Oh, that's up here, Hallie, Christy. See, it says, we willy winky. $5. Five to, well, yeah, but I, I think it was a little bit less. But look at how cute it is. I'm so sorry, the glare. Can you kind of get an idea yeah, of it, though? It. I mean, that's like your little babies that you just love. Oh, I love it. Isn't it the cutest? It's so cute. And it's polka dot -y kind of. That's I so cute. love it. That graphic is just so fantastic. And it's a Claire Eames Hollywood. Oh, man. That's cute. Is he naked? <laughs> no, he's got, he's got those little long johns on, but it's opened in the back. You know, like oh, it's it coming up as he's running. I see. Yeah. It. It's that, like, what was it, that nursery rhyme, Will we Willy Winky, but I don't know the whole. Rhyme. I don't know that nursery rhyme. It's cute. I love it. I love it. And I saw that. I was like, oh, my God. I love it. Yep, book. Christy, that is you. That's for sure. I love it. That's a okay. Christy item. Now, okay, I think this is, okay, from that, this thing that I'm going to show is the last thing from the Bulldog, the Vintage Bulldog sale. But then I've got some friend mail that you're not going to believe. You're not going to believe $4 steel. It is a steel, right? Right? Okay. Now, and Angela's like, Psh, yeah, Angela, you know you find good stuff. <laughs> you do, Angela. You, you do. do. And it's like, I mean, honestly, you should see this stuff when she goes into these places and she's like, I don't know, look at this. And it's like, what was it, like turn of the century or something like a glass, like, you know, light thing. And I'm like, for real? For, for real, Angela? Like, come on. <laughs> It's, it's, it's crazy. Okay. So, oh, wait, let me turn this down so I can see. Okay. So, and, but Angela, the Midwest tries to hide their light under a bushel, but mm -mm. hey, Jana, how you doing? She was like, we're on to you, Midwest. We're on to you. The other day in our chat, I started dying laughing. We're on to you, Angela. And we're just going to go over there. We're going to show up there and you be ready. You better have a room ready for me and Katie. Okay. <laughs> now. Okay. This is my jam. I like cats. Now, I know that Angela loves cruel and cruel work, and she, um, but she is not a cat fan, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Is she a cat fan? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If, if Angela was going to get a pet, I don't know if it'd be a cat or a dog. Answer that, Angela. More of a dog, I think. I, will I know that she one. grew up with snakes. I think she said they had snakes <sighs> growing up. Well, not nothing against people who like snakes. I mean, if y'all like snakes, that's you know. And she's like, no, sleep in the yard. <laughs> okay, mom's like, show them the picture. Okay, here it is. Ready? 
Oh, there's Winky. Look, and it's the babies. And it's like, I had a cat that was, her name was Cheska. And then this is uh, Toodles. Now, I did have a Joby, because that's like a grayish color. But it does look like Winky. It could be Winky. That one and the last kind of looks like Smudge. Like Smudgy. Oh, because I got a cat named Smudge. And I have to say, I love that name. I now want a cat named Smudge. Smudge and Butters. <laughs> Smudge and Butters. I love Butters' name. Isn't that oh, butter I do too. I, I'm just obsessed with little Butters. Carrie, stop trying to start things. No, I do not like those things. They're disgusting and I can't deal with them. <laughs> you want me to have nightmares? You know I have nightmares. Carrie, you can tell everyone about your love for uh, squirrels. Oh, that's right. Don't you love squirrels? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't you love squirrels? Okay. Now, this is something that I got from, okay, um, Tony, who is a uh, butterfly nurse thrift. She gave me, uh, like, she, she dropped some info on me. She said, listen, look at these. I think you'd really like them. They're on eBay. And I'm like, what? I saw them I'm like, oh, my God. Thank you. And I won them. And I'm so happy. Wait till you see. Now, I showed these on Instagram. But for people who aren't on Instagram, I wanted to share. These are super cute. Now, look, my, I'm going to put these, I've, I'm going to find in the thrift store a perfect frame because I think it would be so funny, like a, like a contrast to get like, you know, some really cute gold gilt frames. Okay. <laughs> to put these in because that would just be hilarious. Like you said. And I she knew I love these and she was right. Look. Oh, look. <laughs> Debbie. These little paint by number tippies, and they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Look. Aren't they fantastic? Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> I just they're so cute. You know, they were adorable, and and um, I just loved them. I just thought they were the cutest things. So I think like if I put them in like some really Fancy frames. It's yeah, I think it would be so cute with the like over the top gold gold frames. Yeah, you're gonna be like, really, really? It's like, yeah. <laughs> and you need to find like at a thrift store one of those lights that go <laughs> over the frame. Really do it up. <laughs> it would be so funny. Okay, now this is um, I got this the other day from uh, Sarah from thrift you and because okay i'm a hairdresser and i collect um vintage things that have to do with like you know hairdressing and things like that like i have a vintage uh hair dryer that's really cute my mom and i got it in antiques or she bought it for me years ago and it's a real pretty blue one with the stand you know like one of the oh. first ones that came out it's so cute so this is amazing and the box is amazing look at this curl, curl away there so great oh Look at the hairdos. It's just like. <laughs> the graphics on that are so up my alley. I love it. And then wait till you see this. So y'all, it's in the box. It's so amazing. In the pink color, Christy. In the pink color. And look, y'all, look at how ahead of their time they were, okay? Because I mean, that's very sleek. It is. And I mean, look, this is like. Oh, I saw a pink one on a stand this weekend. Oh, my gosh. This has a stand to it. It's got this cutesy. Look. I mean, they thought of everything, okay? So, like, this is the stand for it, okay? Oh, wow. So, it's got the stand. I mean, the fact that these things have stayed together. But they have three different style uh, sizes of, of uh, things to do. So, what you do is you just insert it through here. Hold on, wait. It goes in a certain way. Lord have mercy. I know how to do this. I did this the other day. Here it is. Sorry. You put it in like through here, right? Somehow like that. And and they're pink. I don't know if you can see that they're they're pink. They're really like a blush pink. Yeah, it's like a pretty blush pink. So it fits on very tight. There you go. So you could curl your hair. Oh, darn. Well, no wonder. I had it on the wrong way. There it is. Like this. Okay like this because it fits in this little divot it's got like a little thing so you would curl your hair and you'd have three different well four different sizes these and then the little bitty one and 
Is that not the coolest? That is awesome. And I, Donald, I, I didn't put this on there, but this is wood. The handle wow. is wood. I have seen people actually use these old, and I don't know that you could use this one, but people have gotten them back up and running, and that's like their daily curling iron. And it's so cool to watch. Really? People, yes, use these vintage things. I oh, would yeah. totally use this. I wanted to use it and put it like, you know, when I first presented, I wanted to do my, does it work? I'm pretty sure it does. I had I did not try it out, but it I'm pretty look sure. good. Yeah, and it's a UL listed. Uh, 12 watts, 115 volts. And I mean, it's got even this little, it's like a little pad in there or something. Now it looks like that's more of a modern um, plug. So I think you probably really could plug that in safely. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's hey, legit. Vinny. Hey Vinny, hi. But yeah, it's wood. I mean, listen, that's, isn't that like, cool. that's right. If you get electrocuted, you're safe. <laughs> you grab it. Yeah, at least the handle's not metal. That's right. I just thought this was the neatest thing, and Why I was like, plug it in? <laughs> it's really good. I don't have a place to plug it in. Right? I mean, the plug's all the way over there. Everything will fall down. But uh, trust me, it works. It works. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't, show you the, I didn't show you the little the paper. I have to show you this. <gasps> Look at that. You could even frame that and put you that. You could. In. And it shows you, like, uh, the other things that they make, you know, on here. But, like, in here it shows you like the directions and how you would, the precautions and things like that. Oh, I love that. Isn't it great? I just, I was like, oh my God, Sarah. I was having a crappy day that day. I was like, you made my day, Sarah. Then okay. he's always cracking us up in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vinny, Vinny. Okay. Now, okay. Now I've got two more packages and I'm going to save like, wait, wait till Mich you see Michelle. Okay, this I got. Okay, now I, Dolores, um, and you know, like all these resellers are fantastic. Vintage Bulldog is on Instagram. She's got fantastic, she's in the Midwest. Where is she? Wisconsin, isn't she in Wisconsin? I want to say Wisconsin. I don't know, I could be wrong. She always has the most fabulous things. I mean, they're, fa hey, Lucid, how you doing? And so anyway, she, um, she has the most fantastic things. And, um, also Sarah thrift you, everybody knows thrift you, of course. And, um, but yeah, and it was a great yard sale that vintage bulldog had. Now this one, um, Dolores. From oh, Minnesota, Vinny. Okay. Oh, Minnesota. I'm, you're right. Minnesota, Minnesota. Um, her name is Marcy. Marcy from Minnesota. We're gonna have to remember that now. There <laughs> hey, we go. Gabrielle. Hey, Gabrielle. And hey, Lucid. Okay, now let me see. Okay, this is from uh, Dolores from, okay, she has a different handle from Instagram and her YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is, is it Miss Damn Jewelry? I think it's Miss Damn Jewelry. And then on Instagram, it's just Damn Jewelry UK. Damn Jewelry. But like damn and D-A-M. A damn is like her initials. Yeah, it's not a bad, it's not it's like. It's a bad damn. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's not really that bad anyway. <laughs> no, it's not really bad. These days. Okay. So she is from Texas. She's a Texas girl, but she is living across the pond and she had this amazing um, IG sale and she always has stuff on IG and she, Hey, Miss Pam. Hey, oh, no, Pam. Pamela jo. Hey, Pamela Jo. I missed you. <laughs> okay. So this is from Dolores. Now I bought a couple things from her and I'm going to tell y'all, she is, I, I know that like shipping from England scares people, but she sells small things. And I'm telling you, it was, it was very reasonable, the shipping, you know? Oh yeah. Her, her stuff is fantastic. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. And um, y'all would just, you, you've got to tune in. And again, it's damn jewelry, D-A-M jewelry <laughs> on Instagram and her channel. Cause she, isn't she hilarious? Oh, I love Dolores. Dolores is so funny, and she's just a, a delight to watch. And I love that thrifting video she did, the $10 challenge with Beth, because she was at the flea market, and she <laughs> it just was so funny. She's hilarious, and she's got fantastic hair. Fantastic hair! But I'm a hairdresser. I notice stuff like that. Now, I saw this in her sale, and I thought, oh, my God, that is super cute. And um, I'm going to legit use this. I just got this in today. 
Um, because I get, well, and the stuff came in over the weekend, but I didn't get to work until like today. So I didn't see it. This is the cutest. Okay. Pam, wait till you see this. Whose hair is thinning and wants to wear a wide scarf, but it slides around or falls out. Oh, okay. I learned this tip. Okay. Uh, Book Me Witch. I learned this tip from, um, okay, Amy's. What is Amy's? Uh, the one that does the cute little dolls. Amy's Rock and Pop Shop. Oh yes, Amy. Amy's Rock and Pop Shop. Her husband's the one from Three Dog Night. Three Dog Night. She's married to to the lead singer of Three Dog Night. You know, like Jeremiah was Bullfrog stuff like that. Okay, or jo jo no Joy to the World. Is it Joy to the World? Uh, it's not Jeremiah was a Bullfrog, but it, they've got several. That's that starts out. Yeah, my mom loves Three Dog Night. They have a lot of hits, and so, um, but anyway. She wears these cute little headscarves oh, all does. the time. They're darling. They're adorable. Very rockabilly. Yes. And book, she um she sent me the code and like the, the person from Etsy that she gets them from. Because I have that problem too, because I have very thin hair. It, it's prayers and hairspray <laughs> that keep this up. Okay. So anyway. You the trick is when you're doing like okay this is a, a a headband right but wait I have I have a little bandana thing let me just show you I'm sorry I'm sorry this is off the program I'm so sorry give me or give just me the wear a hat you know you could wear a hat and just tuck all your hair right up into the hat yeah. I'm sorry here it's my daily hair thing so I have a vintage car now this is wrinkled okay because I was wearing it the other day all right. But the trick is, it's like, you know, this is like one of those Vera scarves. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that yeah. I've just, that I've just rolled up. It's a vintage, and I need to press it. Hey, LJ. Hey, LJ. Pieces of April is a great Three Dog Night song, too. Oh, hey. So what I do is I tie like a little bit. The trick is, and she said this in one of her things, because people are like, how do you do it so it doesn't fall off? You tie it kind of loose. You don't tie it tight, okay? And you just see how it's like. It's not tight. It's it's kind of loose and it stays better. Okay. And ever since I heard that tip, I know not to tie it too tight and it stays all day. And that is cute, Christy. I like Thank the you. little headbands. Thank you. You should see the one I got from uh, Christina uh, from um, what's the name of her High channel? Street Market. No, Christina from, uh, from uh, Canada. You know the one that Tammy Christina does Christina Taylor? With. Huh? Christina Taylor. Christina yeah, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. So she, I got the most beautiful purple scarf. Oh my God. It's, I, I can't wait to wear it. But yeah, it's, I like these vintage scarves. And they're so beautiful, these scarves, you know. And this, this is a Vera scarf. Now, I will tell you that it's like, it's, it was a little moth eaten a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I wear it like this. Michelle says, Now, how in the world did you tie that bow? That was some diverse tie. Yeah. You know, but it's like if you if you do it loose, it'll be fine and it'll stay. You'll just wait and see. Pam, you should have been here earlier because I tell you what, I was having some crooked hair. And it's so oh, your hair color. looks great, Christy. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Okay. So let me show you what I got from her. This is Dolores. Okay, y'all? Huh? Yeah, it's right here. This is so cute. It's a biscuit tray. Now, just think of how darling this is, okay? So it's like, hey, Katie, would you like a biscuit? You look oh. Good. Now, look, digestives need to go on that. Digestives need to go on this. Oh, and I look. love a digestive. Oh, my God. How cute would your digestives look on this? Yep, digestives with my blue cheese and honey. Ugh. Isn't it the cutest? It's adorable. It's a little biscuit tray. For oh, that is cute. Isn't it cute? You could use this for your tray. Like, you know, you come home from work, you make yourself a nice little cheese tray with some crackers. Mm -hmm. And olives. Or what is it? You do your digestive biscuit. Now, I know digestive biscuits sound like they're just they're crackers, y'all. It's like a wheat cracker. She uses the wheat cracker ones. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, Here, let me show you what a digestive. Yeah. So you can see it. Let me go get you a digestive. Yeah, but it's real easy. You just have to do it like that. Now, you can put like um, Gabrielle was saying that you could stick a little of uh, a uh, a bobby pin just to kind of put it in there but it does work and she's the one that mentioned that she's like the key is just don't tie it too tight and then you're fine you're fine 
They're not, yeah, they're not, well, they're not really crackers. They're like, but they're not sweet. The one now they they're do have sweet. some that are, I think, sweet. But Katie has the kind that aren't sweet, right, Katie? No, I get the ones that are sweet. They're, they're, oh, you do? Okay. So there are digestives that have a chocolate bottom. I get the ones without the chocolate bottom. There so you I go. That's what blue it is. cheese. But there's also hobnobs, which are more of a um, wheat cookie. Wheat cookie. But yes. This is like eating a, a better graham cracker. That's the best way. And this, okay. the best kind is McVitie's. They have the little Britain thing, and then they they look like this. They come in a sleeve, and yeah, the chocolate bottom is good, but they come like this, and it's basically just like a sweet cookie, and they're really good with tea, but they're also fantastic uh, with blue cheese. You get a little bit of, of blue cheese, melt it. And then use a butter knife and spread it on. So I just nuke the blue cheese for like 10 seconds in the microwave, spread it on top, and then drizzle a little honey. Easier to die for, folks. It's and, and they're good. Katie loves them. Now, now that our British snack has been advertised, we can get back to our regular program. Sorry, sorry. I'm over here looking at my hair. It's just all crazy looking. Okay. But that's not the only thing I got from her. What, Mom? No. Okay. Um, Mom's over here. <laughs> Mom's a director today. Do you really make your stomach feel better if you are nauseated? Do they, Katie? I don't know. Is that what they advertise? I guess maybe. maybe. I don't know. Like with some milk, that might taste really good, and that may, may settle your stomach. It says may contain milk. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Is it... I, don't, I don't know why they're called digestives. They're a British cookie that has been around since 1839. So, I don't know, made from the finest, most wholesome ingredients is what the box says. Okay. So, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay, this is not, okay, because I remember this. Okay, why are they called digestives then? I don't they? know. Ham, I wish I knew more. I just British thing. You know, I went to England and I started eating them and I fell in love with them. Then we came back here and I would buy them all the time at the store and the the like uh, British foods aisle or your your um, international snack section. And Nate eats them every day and got me onto the whole blue cheese thing. And now I got proud American into it. So this whole community is going to be loving digestives. They're delicious. And, and like, they do have good snacks. You know, they okay, do. Let me, let me see why they are called digestives. You can okay. show you the next While you're doing that, I'm going to show you. Okay. Now, I did not buy this from, from Dolores. Dolores sent me this next thing. And it's beautiful. And wait till you see it. Now, I'm sorry that my lighting is not the best today. I'm, I, like I said, I'm a hot mess today. I'm not even going to begin to tell you the story. Okay. Mom says I look good, but you know, she's my mom. She got to say that. Okay. This is amazing. And I wish Nate was here to see this. Oh, it comes from the baking soda present in the biscuits. Oh, wow. Yep. But I also see that it says the digestive was first developed in 1839 by two Scottish doctors to aid digestion. Now it says the term digestive comes from, and are you ready for a laugh? Reduction of flatulence. Yeah. <laughs> So the name not the best, but it's also made from a wholemeal flour that's called digestive. So I don't know. <laughs> They've got an interesting thing. The more you know. <laughs> now we know. Is Jay in the chat? I see someone saying. Oh, Jay's here. <gasps> Jay, look at you! Oh my gosh! Hi. Hi, Jay. <laughs> oh my gosh! I miss you so much, Jay. Okay. Here it is. This is what she sent me as a gift. Can you see it? No. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a, okay, wait. It's a, what do they call this? A Jasperware? It's like, yeah, is it a Jasperware brooch? It's a brooch. It is Wedgwood. Oh. Uh. Because I told her I really love Wedgwood and I'm collecting it now. And it is a Wedgwood brooch. And if Nate was here, he could tell me what this was. Is it not gorgeous? That is gorgeous. I love it. Oh, my God. I love this so much. 
and she sent it to me as a gift. I just love her so much. She's so sweet. And then she sent treats because you know she's going to send treats. I know, right, Pam? Now look what look what she sent me. Yeah. Haribo. Oh, those are so good. The Super Mix. I love with this. <gasps> they look good. Oh, I'm sorry. British snacks are so good. They're so good. And then I got these. They're called Dodgers Minis. Jammin' Dodgers Minis. It's like... Oh, big... Yes, and those have the little um, strawberry like filling. Oh, I my think it's gosh, almost like... those are so good. Is it like a Linzer cookie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very similar. Okay, okay. But it's so cute. And they come in these little packages. Aren't they cute? So I can serve them on the tray. So she sent me biscuits. How about biscuit? Isn't that so sweet? Oh, oh, and I got a lollipop. And it says, look, and this is her logo that Angela Marks very designed. Oh, look at that. Damn Sorry, jewelry. it's probably too bright, but can you see it? Damn jewelry. Oh, I love that. I know. It's so cute. Okay. And then she sent, listen, she knows about package toppers, okay? Uh, I got this. It's like a little baggage claim thing that she stuck on. A playing card. A playing card. I love that. Caesars, Atlantic City. Isn't that sweet? And then this is, oh, this is fancy. Look at this. This has got her logo. Damn Jewelry UK. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, that's fancy. Okay. And then she said, oh, this is beautiful. Okay, Katie, look. Ooh, look at the cars. Katie, these are not just like a stamp thing. These are actually like little. Oh, like little, little cigarette cards. or tea cigarette cards. cards that actually are off. Like, look. <gasps> oh, those are amazing. Look at them. Oh, and it, wow. And it gives, what does it say? Do not park on a curve when parking a car on a country road. It is safer and more considerate to others to drive it on the grass verge. Now, oh, did they say what company? Are they tea or are they? Um, it says Will Cigarettes. Okay, so they're cigarette card. Never draw up at night on the wrong side of the road. It's just like. Driving lessons. There you go. Like oh, man, lessons. those are cool. Aren't they cute? Red car. I love that. They're so cute. She knows how to pack a box, I'm telling you. Now, look, I already know. Mom's going to eat my, these little cookies. That's okay. I don't need to be eating no cookies, okay? But, look, she's got a little. She digestives. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Here, Mom. She looked at that. Okay. Now. All right. I, okay, wait, this one last thing. And now I'm going to show Michelle's. I'm going to show Michelle's. And I've already talked about this, y'all. You just don't know. Okay. But hold on. I got to show you this. I got this from Lyrics Vintage. Lyrics Vintage. I love Lyric. Follow her on Instagram. She mm -hmm. does have a YouTube channel, but she doesn't really post there. She does a lot of live sales. And she has got, and I'm going to tell you, because the stuff I've gotten, I don't know about you, Katie, but I haven't had to pay like an, an enormous amount of. Uh, no, I just got. It's, um, it's affordable. It's, you're getting a sneak peek from the haul I'm going to show on Wednesday, but I just got these from her. These are cool. Look, at, like, tell, tell them what they are. To ship. So these are Mendits. Well, I th these are not the official Mendits brand, but it's the same concept. They're Mend with stars. And you just, you know, you have a little tool and then they're for pots and pans. So they're repair pieces and they've got all of the little repair pieces on the back. And these are made from, uh, made by a company called Spoline out of Walkersville, Ontario. And these are just really, really cool. So I was very excited to get that. That so, is her logo. Lyric yeah, Lyric Vintage. Lyric Vintage. She's Go check her Instagram. out. It's lyric, like, you know, like the lyric, like of, of a song. Song, yeah. She is, and, and she is, I mean, right? She loves all the, like, the kind of rusty, dusty kind of, but I mean, it's, yeah, rusty, the graphics, rusty. it's great. Now, I got this from her blue ribbon baking powder. Oh, I love, and that's in such good shape. Look at how this looks like it just came off of the, off of the shelf. 
Yeah, she finds awesome things. It's it's fantastic. And I got a scotch tape tin. Oh, with 49 cents on 49 it. 49 cents. And it's just, and it's, it's a nice size. And uh, so, yeah. It's it's really cute. It's really cute. I love that. But I just wanted to give Lyric a shout out because she really, really has some amazing things. And Katie and I get stuff from her a lot. Okay. So how did she look? Okay. Okay. Now, Michelle. Do we need a drum roll? Oh, my God. You can see this package, y'all. Okay. <laughs> I have to turn it down. <laughs> okay. Okay. If... You have to go tinkle. I suggest you do that. Okay. <laughs> because. And if I'm you've got socks on, you might want to take them off because they're just going to be knocked right off. Right. <laughs> this was amazing. And she blessed me with this package. And I was just, I was emotional when I opened this because this was so fantastic. Y'all know I love uranium. Okay. And in fact, if you don't follow Michelle on her IG, you should follow her because yeah. Emancipation 300. <laughs> I could not believe she did this. She got a package from Tim <laughs> from uh, yep. over the years. And if you have ever gotten a package from Tim, you know, Tim packs. He's like one of the best. Oh, so the well. She threw it off her second story and yep. threw it on, fell on concrete. <laughs> And it was fine. And and it was a uranium console bowl. And it was gorgeous. And it was perfect. And I I I sent a message to him. I'm like, okay, you need to go watch this video. Because <laughs> you need to use this Tim, as advertising. Tim is fabulous. Oh, Tim is amazing. Tim is amazing. I just he and Josie and Ma Dukes, oh. They're just, they're, yeah, they're I, I, I always learn so much from them and I, they have great items and they always pack so well. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just got a new package video? coming from him. A new video coming. Oh, that, wow, Michelle. <laughs> okay. And you have to tag him, Michelle, because that's, that's the thing. And he was like, I can't see it. And then she's like, oh, I go, you have to accept his friend request so he can see it. And she did. And so I think he saw it. Okay. I love this so much. Now, look, I do not have a fancy contraption the way Martha from Vintage Conversation crafted. If you haven't seen, yeah, that was awesome. fail. It was amazing. Martha is is she's thinking all the time. Okay, now, yeah, that was a really great way to showcase uranium. It's fantastic. Okay, so let me let me get down in here. Okay, 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 okay. So I get this box as Michelle's like, I'm sending you some. I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. And then I get this. And I'm not kidding. Chills were going up my back. And I'm like, mom. And then my mom is like, are you lying to me? Did you buy all that uranium? I was like, no. Michelle <laughs> legit sent it to me. So beautiful. I love it. Okay. Oh, right Venny, you got to go. Tim opened up an antique booth near him. Only 26 minutes away. You got to go, Venny. Oh. Look at this. <gasps> Is this not the sweetest? I don't know what its purpose. Maybe it's just meant to be a cute little little dish, but I'm thinking it. Is it a, it's, it's this big? Okay. It's got to be some sort of a serving bowl, right? Something, right? Like a sauce or something? And look. Can you see it? Can you see it? Bam. Bam. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing and it glows. Again, I do not have the fancy contraption. Martha's going to make me one. Oh, it is so unusual. Yes, Michelle, I love it. Hi, okay. Jamie. And it's, oh, I'm telling you, that blew my socks off. And then, and I kept going in the box. I was like, what? Okay. So then, now Katie's going to know this pattern, okay? Oh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, I do know that pattern. Do you do? I know. Look. Can you see it, Katie? Yep. I think that's by Cracky by Ellie Smith. 
Yes. Now there is another company that made uh, a similar crackle pattern, but I think the crackles are a little wider. So I think that's uh, by Cracky Ellie Smith. I think that was made 1920 something to 1935 or something like that. Uh, very short run, but great pattern. It's so beautiful. Now look at the, isn't the glass unique in itself? I mean, what kind of goblet was it? What was the goblet meant for? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's not a typical kind of glass. No, and it's a little short, I think, to be a water glass or a tea, because tea glass, iced tea glasses are taller. What about a spooner? Could be a spooner, but I, I think, is it, okay, now is it spooners or salaries that have handles, double handles? You lost me on that one. The spooners, I know, well, okay, and the spooner might be a little bit taller because, and that's the thing. Um, I think salaries are shorter. Is that right, folks? I don't know. Someone will correct me in the chat. I, I know. <laughs> Katie's brave. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop. <laughs> yeah. so She's like going through her files like, what is it? What is it? What is it? But no, seriously, it, this is so beautiful. And I have one other thing that has this cracky design. What do you call it? By cracky? By Cracky and it's Ellie Smith. Okay, and when you say by, it's like by Cracky. Yeah, by Cracky. It's a really weird name for a pattern, <laughs> but it's beautiful and it has like this optic kind of pattern at the bottom. It's not like yeah on the, on the base, and it's gorgeous. And like, well, like, and I've heard different people say stuff, but I've always been told spooners are what you like if you like mix your iced tea do you know what i'm talking about like yeah. you know we have those long teaspoons for iced tea and you would use that or for your coffee or whatever and then you'd put your spoon in there like you know you'd have like spoons and you just use it and then mix yeah. your sugar and stuff <gasps> the you I showed you just sent me you just missed it it's so beautiful and I, I showed everybody like the the beautiful pin you sent me Mwah! and the snacks. I love that you just didn't send like the little biscuit tray. You sent biscuits with it. You fancy, okay? Yes. You fancy. And you could, Jay, totally use that for a cocktail. I think it's whatever you want it to be nowadays because we don't do spooners or celeries or, you know, have all kinds of different goblets for things now. But, but that is fairly short. So, again, I don't think that it's a, a water. I would drink milk out of this see. this is a perfect yeah. for like a like milk at night like your glass of milk with a digestive with a digestive <laughs> or a dr pepper if you need a shot of dr pepper there you go i'm all about that yeah i i always hear those videos of the of people who are 90 you know and they're always like what kept me alive was a dr pepper a day it's always those people that are you know you so strong at like 90 so Get your uranium and drink your Dr. Pepper. Jeannie's here. Hey, Jeannie, what'd you hey, get? Here? I'm sorry, I missed you. I didn't Jeannie's see you. Been here a while. I think I said <gasps> hello. Jeannie, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you. Okay. But you know me. I'm crazy. So I don't <laughs> Book said, I was waiting to see what you would do with the spooner word, Vinny. Yeah, <laughs> Vinny's on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, from Michelle. Michelle, you're too good to me. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this, how it lights up. What? Ooh. I like that. Can you see it? Now, that looks like ribbon. What do you think, Katie? I think it's ribbon. Uh, now, who makes the ribbon pattern? Does anybody know? Anyone? Uh, Anyone? I want to say Mueller? it's Mueller. <laughs> Hawking. I'm looking it up. Ten points to Gryffindor. Whoever got that reference. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do believe that is ribbon. And um, I yes, believe Gabrielle, what they I will. Call it. I'll just play it with I, the I think. Don't hold me to it, but I do think it's anchor Hawking ribbon. I love this. I wish this was like Jeopardy and like we had this thing and we would go, you are correct. Boom. You know, like Gabrielle <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, says, beep, boop, beep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's by heaven. It is. Isn't it fantastic? Oh, it is. How oh, perfect with like your little I mean, cheese ball? Party. 
yeah, for your, your cheese ball, your crackers. I'm going to mm -hmm. legit use My this. My grandma one. makes a mean cheese ball. <sighs> Fresh. You see, I don't, I've never made a cheese ball. I've always gotten them from the store, but I bet a homemade one's really good. Oh, she makes good and she'll make salmon dip with cream cheese. Mm. You're fancy, Katie. <laughs> My oh. grandma, she she loved to entertain, and she would she would be in charge of hosting all the parties for the PTA and for the local radio station. So she would she learned to make all kinds of things, and it, all of her recipes are very easy. You could do it in a couple of seconds, but they just are so classic and so good. I, I love those, like those old recipes, because I liked it when people entertained and, you know, people came over and stuff like that. And just, it's, it's nice. Oh, salmon dip with cream cheese. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, Peterson. Hey. When did she come in? Did you just get here? I hope Peterson just popped in. Okay. Well, listen, you're going to have, you miss, you miss a bit. Okay. But it's okay. We're going to be on again. Now, again, Michelle sent me this. Last but not least, Michelle. Oh, please. God, I love this so much. As we welcome to the stage the most fabulous piece of uranium. <gasps> A tidbit tray. Look at this tidbit tray. Oh. Is this not gorgeous? Katie. This is beautiful. I don't have a tidbit tray this size. Oh, that look, is stunning. It's this big. That is stunning. Katie, look at the pattern. Okay, computer brain coming beep, back. Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. All right, now I don't know. The shape of the handle looks very Cambridge to me. Okay. I could be wrong, but it. what do you guys think in the chat? How them has a Cambridge feel. You are so sweet. She's like, you had the itty bitty one. You remembered. You remembered. I did have the itty bitty yeah, one. I, don't, there. I got the mammoth. I don't table. know that etch off the top of my head, but I. I will come back to this video and study that etch. Uh, it's got an etch that's similar to the, one of the Fostoria patterns that's got, in fact, I've got it right here. It's similar with the bat, the flower basket, but see, that's not the same. Can you see that better? So, yeah, it's not Fostoria. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I, I really think it's probably Cambridge, but I don't know. So I will I would. I would, I would bet that you would know before anybody else would look. Oh, well, I'm not that knowledgeable on glass. But how gorgeous is this? That's that Cambridge. Pam said that's Cambridge. Oh, that's Cambridge. Yeah, I think I, I do think that it is. It's gorgeous. Computer crashed. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Well, it's like it was so beautiful that it crashed. It crashed the computer. <laughs> is this not so beautiful? Pam, isn't this beautiful? I'm that just, is gorgeous. I had chills when I saw this and I was like, oh my God. And this is the one that I pulled out. Mom's like, because I'm, I'm trying to put a curb on my spend. I, I need to get it under control. <laughs> yeah, the shape is beautiful. And my mom's like, Christy, are you lying to me? Did you buy all these? I was like, no. <laughs> Michelle sent them to me, and I just, I love you, Michelle. I love you. Look at how beautiful this is. Let's just see it glow again. Look at his. Bam! Bam. Oh, it's so fantastic. I love it. And 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 the thing is, it's like, okay, our, oh, our older folks can't must have loved it. Yeah. I'm telling you, we can't find this here. We just can't. And if you find it somewhere, it's a fortune and I can't afford it. You know? Yeah. Uranium is very expensive. Yeah. And Dolores, she sent this to me. And you saw the beautiful pen Dolores sent me. Oh, that's, that's wood. So gorgeous. Dolores, it's Wedgwood. And you sent, you're such a sweet friend. Thank you. Y'all think you have no idea how much this means. And I am going to cherish these. And it means more because it came from y'all. Yeah. In Minnesota, it'd be 45 to 60. In Texas, this thing would be like 60, 70 bucks. I mean, I just look at this in the, in the antique stores with my face up against the glass thing, mm, you know, because I can't, I can't afford this here, you know? Yeah, uranium. I I told this to Christy, but there's a booth that has uranium here, and I think that they they think you know because it's uranium we can get. They have twelve dollars 
on a uh, ribbon anchor hawking sherbet. One, one sherbet for $12. Now, mind you, ribbon is a very common pattern. It's the, they must have made thousands of these pieces. <laughs> And look, look, look what Michelle said. She, nothing she sent was over $3. We need to go to their Goodwills, Katie. Yeah, it's just your, like Peterson says, it's all about the market in your area. And George was talking about it on his live, The Antique Nomad tonight, that sometimes you go to an antique store and you can tell that the person that runs it is maybe older. They don't have eBay. They don't, they're not up to date with the mm -hmm. current prices. And so sometimes things become a museum. But you still can find deals at antique malls because I had a whole bunch of glass fruit for four dollars the other day. So that got, and it was in a very nice <laughs> antique mall. And look what Michelle said: I can get the sherbets for forty-five cents. Oh my gosh, yep. Michelle, we're coming to your house. And Martha said she saw it for fourteen dollars this weekend. Yeah, see, Martha, that's just your area. Yeah, I mean it's, I mean it's 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 just crazy. I mean, but. No, I mean, right. I mean, I'm sure like Martha and Tammy can concur. I mean, it, it, we just can't get this here. We can't, I mean, like the glass that y'all find in, in, in the Midwest. I mean, I mean, we're just blown away. You know, I mean, you find fairy lamps and I told y'all earlier, like Angela takes it, like she'll go to the thrift store and she'll send us pictures of stuff. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Angela does find things and you're like, Whoa, swung last for a dollar? Like, come on. <laughs> and you know how excited Angela gets. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, okay. Well, I find this every day. <laughs> you know, because I guess when you're used to it. Yeah, you just you you know they don't they don't know they they have not been deprived. They have not been in the dry places that we're in, Katie. <laughs> I mean, I don't find the kinds of things that other people are finding, but I will say I do have eco relics and eco relics. I'm really fortunate to have for advertising. And I know some people are looking for that and they can't find it. So it really does depend on your area. Yeah. JC and like over there where he lives in Dallas, right? Jay, we don't find these things in our, in our goodwills here. I mean, we don't, it's, our goodwills are sad. I mean, you'd have to get very lucky now. I mean, there are some thrift stores where, okay, I found some stuff, some mid-century stuff, and it's stuff that people have donated. But, um, you know, it's few and far between. And then Tanala, yeah, Gabrielle said, like, in California, she finds Tanala. I guess throw a rock and you find Tanala, right? Um, Tanala's not my jam, but a lot of people like it. And I've seen some very beautiful pieces. But um, and, and Nate from New Zealand's got an amazing Instagram account, and he has been finding a lot of Tanala pieces, and they're they're – they're gorgeous. And he's been finding Kent Edwards pieces at thrift stores. It's like, holy moly. I loved how you said it. Say it again. You did it perfectly. What? Tonala. Say it like you're supposed oh, to. Tonala. Tonala. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned that from Debbie, our vagabond travels, because I was saying Tonala. And then Debbie, who actually uh, lives part time in Mexico and visits those factories often that make those beautiful pieces she said it's tonala <laughs> hey tony i just hey, tony. showed them uh the the paint by numbers that you uh that you found on ebay and i got she let me know about those she gave me the heads up but yeah the tonala and i would hear people say it tonala and i'm like it's tonala but and i was like ah oh, well whatever you yeah. know well, i mean peterson's right potato 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 you know? potato we all know what you're selling you know, <laughs> when you yeah. hold it up so it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter as long as you get and like i said that's that's just some people i you know and i'm in texas so you think we find a lot of it but i don't see that in the thrift stores I don't Absolutely. find it ever here. No. Dragon wear is another thing that I've been actively looking for for one of my friends because she, she collects uh, Asiana things. And, of course, dragon wear I think she would really like. And I wanted to get her a teacup. And with the, you know, the geisha uh, lithograph or lith lithophane in it. And I couldn't find, couldn't find a single one here. Yeah. And then <laughs> Peterson's like, I say pop, others say soda. Okay. Dolores can concur with this, and so can Martha. Okay, but like here in Texas, at least in Houston, okay, when you go to like a place that like they're serving like the beverages, and you're like, they go, "What do you want?" And I say, "I'll say I want a Coke." They're like, "Okay, what kind do you want?" 
because in here in Houston, if not in Texas, everything is Coke, but then they'll ask, okay, but what kind of flavor do you want? Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. I mean, well, we say soda here, um, mm -hmm. but I usually just say, oh, Coca-Cola, you know, yeah, or cola, you know. Oh, and Teresa, Teresa, where do you live? But means any soda. Exactly. It means any soda. And so you have to ask them, okay, what kind of soda do you want? What kind of Coke do you want? And then you say, yeah. Yeah, we call all soda Coke. <laughs> I guess Coke is so iconic that that's just become. That's so cute. Pop. Pop. <laughs> I like it when D says pop. Oh, Vinny's right. Yeah, in the Midwest, they call it a bubbler. Oh, a how cute. Fountain. It's a bubbler. Oh, Mississippi. Yeah. Okay, okay, Mississippi. But we, okay. we say water fountain here. Oh, a, oh, that's what it is? A water fountain is yep. a bubbler? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what Coke do you want? 7-Up. What kind of Coke do you want? I want a Dr. Pepper. See, and that would be my problem because until now, that's the first time that I'm understanding that all folks in Texas do that. So probably if I were working as a waitress, I would bring somebody a Coke, Coke. and be like, uh, that's not what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We say like a, like a, a water fountain here, water fountain. Now we also say soda fountain, you know, like for what, for a drinking fountain or what? Yeah. You know, the, the machines that have the multiple, uh, options in it, like the, they're like the new Coca-Cola, uh, oh, you can mix it up. yeah, we just say, oh, so there's a soda fountain. I call it a Coke machine. And I think but, it's fancy. I would love one of those in my house. What we used to do as kids, we had a place down the street from us called The Loop. And I think The Loop's probably a chain. I know they've got it in Charlotte now in places. But it's a hamburger, you know, pizza place. And they had one of those um, fountains that have all the different drinks. And you can just go get whatever you want. So we would always do a suicide, which is basically putting yeah. every, every single one nasty, nasty, <laughs> nasty. We used to do that with the slushies because you could do your own slushy and you could do that. And Jason, yeah. Jay says, Big Red, please. Let me tell you. Okay, this is where I met Dolores. I met Dolores through Jay. Okay. So Jay was up one night doing a live. Do you remember this, Jay? And so. It, it's not very many people in there because it was it wasn't was it New Year's Jay? It was it was his New Year's live. That's right. And so it was so adorable. I just loved it. It was hilarious. Dolores, you remember he was he was making himself a mixed drink of <laughs> it was was it vodka? Vodka, yeah. And big red. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, it's what I have on hand, don't judge me. <laughs> No judgment. I thought it was creative. <laughs> and yeah. That's where I met Dolores. And I'm like, you're from Texas, but you live in, in England. <laughs> and we we're just talking. And yeah. <laughs> just now, talking. Have, have you ever, ever heard of a drink called cheer wine? No. What is that? Oh, you got, if you've never had cheer wine, cheer wine is a South Carolina thing. I'm sure they have it in North Carolina too, but it's like a cherry soda. But it's not like any cherry soda you've ever had. It is so good. Now, I don't know if you can get it at your grocery store. We've just started to be able to get it here. But I love cheer wine. And it's cheer, like C-H-E-E-R wine? Uh -huh. Wine. Is it booze? It's booze, though, right? No, it's a soda. It's like ginger beer. It, ginger beer is not a beer. It's actually just a really good ginger soda. And so it's just a like a... A really good cherry soda. Wait, Peterson said they have it at at the MO and pop shops here. What like a pop shop? Is that like a soda fountain? I think Where so. Yeah, can... it's, it's soda pop. Oh, how cute. I love it when y'all say soda pop. I think it's adorable. Oh yeah, it is sweet, Michelle, but I really like it. Oh, they have it at World Market, I think. Okay. Oh, I mom and pop soda. shops is what Peterson's saying. Okay. No, it, and, and, but I love my Dr. Pepper. I love my, or cherry Dr. Pepper. <gasps> then you it. would like cheer wine. Oh, really? I love, I love cherry Dr. Pepper. I, now I want to go to Sonic and get me a cherry Dr. Pepper, but not in my hood. I wouldn't go out this late at night in my hood and try to go get to a Sonic. No, 
No, no. I, I, my favorite Coke is vanilla Coke. I love a good vanilla Coke. I don't know. I've never had vanilla Coke. I don't think I'm. I'm not a bit like. I don't like this. Like you know when people have these candles and it's like birthday cake candles. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't like the smell of something that you're baking. Like, uh, oh. you know, I mean, if you're baking it, yes, but like in a candle. You know I don't. I, mean? I don't really like the lime Coke. I'm sorry, I can't get behind that. Okay, if you get a Mexican Coke, okay? I love Mexican Cokes. You put a little bit of lime in a Mexican Coke. Oh, that's probably got to be really good. It's really good. Okay, because Dolores, have you ever had Mexican Coke with a little bit of lime? Jay, any of my Texas people? Because it's, uh, yeah, and 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 uh, Martha's like, it's probably, can it is cane sugar. It's fantastic. It's a cane sugar. Yeah, I drive to... Um, Oh, it has lime in it already, Peterson says. Yeah, it, it does. But it's it's a different, but like the Mexican Coke, I don't know if, it, I don't think, I've never tasted the lime in it, but I will tell you this. It's, if you are going to have like a street taco, that's mm -hmm. the way to go. That yep. is the way to go. And I don't, know, I don't know if y'all have it. Okay. Maybe it's more widely known now, but um within the past few years have y'all heard of al pastor tacos no okay they're everything okay <laughs> they are fantastic okay jay have you had an al pastor taco now it's al pastor a l and then p a s t o r okay um they are like because at first when i start you know like where i work you know there's not a lot of uh like you know, legit Mexican like places like in that area of town, like, you know, that have this. And it's mostly like it was street tacos. And little by little now they're they're in um they're in a grocery stores now, but it's um it's pork that's been marinated, you uh -huh. know, and it's been marinated in this kind of it's it, you can buy the the it's like in a paste and you can, you know, once you put other stuff in it and it marinates in this. Oh yeah, it's good. It's marinated pork. It's like an orange color, but it is so fantastic. The marinade, it's not oh, I look for that. It's so good. And that with, you know, like your pico de gallo and, uh, and with a, with a Mexican Coke, put a little bit of lime in there. That's some good stuff. There is a restaurant here that sells those El Pastor. He is a Mexican preacher and he is an amazing. Co oh yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We, we, we are getting a new Mexican uh, place. Now we have Tex-Mex, Chewy's, which is good. <laughs> Jay. But we're supposed to be getting an authentic place here. So I'm, they're opening it up soon. So I'm excited to see what it is because I love uh, Mexican uh, food. And we don't get Mexican Cokes that often around here. They're not sold at the gas stations or anything. So the only way I can get them is I will drive down to the beach uh -huh. to a place called Angie's Subs. I think I sent you a picture of it in the group text. But Angie's is amazing. It's a little locally owned place. And when you go in there, I mean, they've got the wackiest stuff nailed to the wall. They've got like an old sock on a board that says, whose sock is this? I mean, it's one of these little hole in the wall places. I've been there forever and has a massive following that for everyone that lives at the beach. But you get a Peruvian sub sandwich and they make their own special Peruvian sauce. It's a secret. No one knows what's in it, but you can buy it by the bottle. Ooh. And then they put like four or five different types of meat and sauteed onions and they put they make their bread oh my god it's to die for and then they have the mexican cokes you can buy and that is like the best thing okay Vinny says katie go to sam's club you can get mexican coke in bulk there oh yeah sam's club has it Oh, I should, well do you have to have a membership to get in sam's club you do can't you pay for like a one-day pass i'm like well you know usually there's like somebody that you know that probably has because uh, i used to have a membership and i let it go but i don't know i just one of my friends or something go along with him. I'm like, oh, you can get cheer wine on on Amazon. Amazon, oh, I'm gonna look, look that, that up. But yeah, yeah, if you now look, I will tell you this, Katie. If you have a Mexican meat market, which most towns do, okay, you go in there and they already have the meat marinated and cut up, and you oh. can go buy a pound of al pastor. Now, like I said, 
we have a it's a huge grocery chain here in in texas and and i think like in the in the it's starting to move up a little bit more in different parts of the country and it's h-e-b and they made their own like they package these things and they packaged um al pastor does it taste like the kind that you get like at the taco stands probably not you know but it's good but if you go to the mexican meat market it is the coolest thing because they already have it it's cut up and it is um it's it's already marinated you get like a pound or something like that and you um and you just you know whenever you come home and like you need something quick all you have to do is just cook it up you know just put it in the pan you know and it's fantastic it's fast some people i i when i when i introduced this to some people at work they were like they overcooked it because they're like oh my god but it's red so it's hard to tell when it's cooked and stuff <laughs> You, you learn to tell like when it's cooked and stuff, it's, it's easy, but it's delicious. It's delicious. We have an international market here and it's pretty cool because they've got, they've got all these fruits and vegetables from around the world and you can go shop. And I met a really interesting lady from, where was she from? I want to say Guatemala. And there was this really weird looking, strange looking like sweet potato that I'd never seen before kind of like a sweet potato, but it wasn't really a sweet potato. It was white. And so I, I was shopping and the lady was grabbing some and she said, oh, I love these. I'm so glad they have them. And I said, really, how do you, you know, how do you cook these? Because I, I was so interested. And the lady told me this whole recipe of how to make them. And I've been buying them since and I can't for the life of me think of the name of them this late, but they are so good. So going to those international markets, I mean, you can find some stuff that's just fun to try and really delicious. Wait a minute. Did you see what Tony put? We do Sam scan and go. You do not need the actual card. So easy. <gasps> I, okay. When I had my Sam's card, I did like, because they have an app. You can basically like you're scanning the stuff as you put it in your basket. And then you just check out. And oh, then, that's fabulous. And then it gives you like, a, you've got your receipt on your on your phone, right? And you just show it to the person when you're leaving, like, you know, whatever. Wait, Tony, so you don't need the actual card? You can just go in there and do that? Stop. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, see, I have Ship. Oh, you his app, okay. And so I can get Costco for free through Shipped, but I can't go to the store. I can only do it oh. as a delivery order. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, I don't know. Well, and, and like, oh, cause Gabriel was saying like California has the best. Well, listen, Texas. Okay. Texas here. There's Tex-Mex, which they're all over the place, but then there's like the legit, legit yeah. Mexican restaurants where it's stuff you're not going to find at a, yeah, at a Texas. Not your refried beans and that kind yeah. of thing. There's stuff on there like pozole or, you know, like al pastor. You're not going to, maybe they're starting to have it now at the Tex-Mix places because people, you know, are probably like, do you have al pastor tacos? Because they're, they're popular now, but yeah. Me Mexican street tacos are so good. Ooh, they're so good. And my they're grandparents so who lived in Texas for years, they would get, they knew a guy that made tamales. And so they would go get these tamales from this guy that made them. He just had a little cart like off the side of the road. And they wish they would go buy a whole bunch of them and put them in a cooler and drive them all the way to Virginia where my dad lived. And we would have brisket. That was another thing she'd bring. BB would bring biscuit, brisket and then the tamales. Oh, they were so good. Texas, Texas has, well, we have amazing brisket. Brisket is like, you go to a barbecue, you can have brisket. And here, when you serve brisket in Texas, if it's made well, you don't put sauce on it. Like if you gotta put sauce on it, somebody didn't it's do dry. Right. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's 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 done well. And um, and like I feel like everyone who lives in Texas, it's true. Tamales, it's there's you have to be careful because when somebody says, "Oh, someone's selling tamales," mm, you have to be like, mm, "Are they good?" You know. Because sometimes people don't get the ratio of masa to meat right, mm -hmm. or the meat doesn't taste like the flavor, or the masa isn't the color that you're used to. <laughs> it's just, there are all these factors. <laughs> so if you find a tamale person, you stay with that tamale person. 
<laughs> and I have to ask BB, but there was a restaurant. Now they lived several places in Texas, but near Round Rock, when they lived there, there was a place called the Purple Pig. And I think it's still open, but it was one of the best brisket places I've ever eaten at. And I'm not the biggest barbecue fan because, you know, here it's very big. And I think that it, it kind of, you know, it's like served at every luncheon and church thing and wherever right. you go. So you get kind of, you know, burnt out. But that place was so good. Yeah. Like here, if you get invited to a barbecue, it's not going to be like, I mean, yeah, you're going to have burgers and you'll maybe you'll have hot dogs. But mostly you're going to eat brisket. You're going to eat like sausage yeah. links. You're going to have stuff like that. I mean, you're ribs. going to a bar ribs, you're going to a barbecue, like a barbecue. Yeah, well, here they would bring ribs and baked beans and coleslaw and you get very tired of that after a while if it's not, you know, top notch. Right, right. And it's just but I mean like, you know, all states like they have their foods that are just delicious, you know? And I mean, yep. chicken and waffles, man. Yeah, I'd like to the, try chicken and waffles. We I've never chicken and had waffles. Them. Yeah, no, I think that would be delicious. It looks delicious. But yeah, I, what was, was I going to show you? I was going to show you something else. No, no was that it? I think that was it. And I made such a mess here. <laughs> they say hot dogs ain't barbecue. That's a cookout. Yeah, it's true. It's a cookout. <laughs> I, do, I do love a good hot dog with kraut. Oh, I could eat my weight in sauerkraut. Did they do the No, because it's in the car. I left it in the car. Mom's like, did you show him the book? Okay. But I don't, it's in the car. Cause I didn't. Future haul. <laughs> future haul. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I made a, I made a huge mess. Is Martha and Tammy, are they still here? They left. They yeah, Martha's still here. At the Yeah. She says the difference between barbecue and a cookout. That's true. Oh, she's the one that said, okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And uh, brisket and flour tortillas. Oh my God. Yes. Oh. I know. Peterson, oh. we would get along. Your German and German food, I love. And I love schnitzel. I could eat schnitzel all day. Okay. And Let sauerkraut and sausage and the whole kit and caboodle. We had a place here. It's They closed down. They served lobster rolls. And the, 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 the buns were so amazing. I could just eat all that bread just in itself. They were so delicious, but they were like, I mean, cause I, I had like a friend who was from Maine and she had, she's like, Oh no, these are good lobster rolls. They're really good. She's Christy. I've been blabbing the whole time. Sorry, Martha. <laughs> Does anyone have a simple recipe for that Mexican cheese dip? Good restaurant. Um, okay. I don't have the recipe for, a cheese I will tell there's there's a queso flamado that's another thing I do have one for okay there is a restaurant chain do y'all have chewies down there oh like, yeah we have chewies I love chewies do you like their their green like dipping sauce yeah, hey, Debbie. I for I I can make that and it's so good I love it and, and it and I bring it to work and I tell everybody, listen, y'all can't bring it. I'm going to give you the recipe, but you cannot bring it because it's the one thing that I don't have to try too hard to bring. But that's pretty good. I, I love that. Stuff. Yeah, I love that. That's my favorite thing at Chewy's. I could I eat a it. whole container of that. We I got it. He's been taunting me. There he is. <laughs> Little dippy. I've been trying. Look, I promise y'all, I did not train him to do this, but he knows. Clean your little face. Do I need to go get Louie? I need to go get Louie. It's like, crap, I'll be there in three weeks. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I pick him up and we're in front of it, he just does that. <laughs> He's like, hold on, I'm on camera. Let me clean my face. But, uh, let me see. Oh, God. Her face is amazing. Wait, I have to. I have to do it. I have to do it. Louie, 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 Louie. She's like, I am too tired for this. Louie, say, say, really high pitched. Louie, Louie's a puppuccino. Louie, Louie's a puppuccino. Louie, Louie's a puppuccino. <laughs> Louis is so snoozy. Oh, 
ocean. She's seepy. She's seepy. Angela does it best. Sorry. What does Angela do best? What does she do? Angela does it best. Oh, does Angela call Louie like that? So my best friend Chastity started this whole thing of calling her Louie Louisa Pompaginio. Louie Louisa Pompaginio. Oh my Louis God, Pompaginio. that face. I don't know where or why that really started other than Chastity started doing it. Louie! Louie! Look here! Oh, look at that head tilt is just everything. I love it. Tipper, you were sleeping. Louis. Here's here's Louis. the thing. So, like when <laughs> I was telling Katie, Tippy, oh, we have to negotiate. Cause like if I want him to come to me, because he likes to play hard to get, like he'll you'll reach out to get him. He's like, no, no. And then like, but he wants to really come to you. So then okay. You know, like that that little area right before their tail. Do you know what I'm talking about? Right before yeah. the tail is, like on their back between the, the upper back and the tail. So we call that a butt scratch. He knows what a butt scratch is. So that's just like the butt scratch. So we have to sit there and I'm like, okay, come to me and I'll give you a treat. And he'll look at me like, and I'll go, treat, kisses. And he's like, mm. and then it's like, and you can see him thinking about it. And I'm like, okay, treat and kisses and a butt scratch. And he's like, <laughs> okay, deal. And so he, and then he'll come, but you got to add the butt scratch to seal the deal. It's like, Okay, and then he walks over to me. Louis is so sleepy. He is you. Yes. Tippy, tippy, sleepy too. Yes, baby, I love you yes. too. Yes, mm. one little head, two little head, little head of us. Huh. And and actually, Martha got to meet Tippy, and Tippy got to meet Aww. Martha. And Tippy liked Martha. I, I he, heard you loved Martha. That's your auntie Martha, right? And you gave her puppy kisses. Mm -hmm. Can you show everybody how you give kisses? Oh, yeah, give kisses. Okay. Give oh, kisses. Yeah. Let's drop this way. Then we give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> give me a kiss. Give me no kiss. Kissy. Kissy. Louie, give me a kissy. Come and, on. Lu and Louie gave, like, Tippy give me kiss. overalls. And she had, he had her. Louis, Louis hand me down overalls the other day, and he he just loved them. He loved them. He got upset when I took them off him, but he loved. Yeah. Them. Yeah. I put it on Instagram. Kiss. Mm, kiss. Okay, kiss. for those of y'all who weren't here earlier, I wanted to tell y'all y'all yeah. missed hearing Nate's voice, right, Katie? Mm -hmm. That's right. <clears throat> Nate recorded. His like so I could put it on my on my uh, incoming messages. Oh, there you are! Just talking about you, Nate. I played your message for them. I hope you don't mind. Okay. But we had to hear that voice. That's like butter, and we all they all just squealed. Right? We loved it. Yeah, we all love Nate. Oh, the voice. And and I'm sorry. Now you're gonna have a bunch of people asking you to do voice recording. <laughs> it's for them. But listen, Nate. We can, this can be your new side hustle, okay? This can be your side hustle. Okay, Gabby didn't hear it. Play it again. Now, I know. Nate, Nate, Nate is awesome. Nate is so fantastic. He is so fantastic. And Nate, your voice is amazing. And Nate, and Nate does it like, I guess, because, well, you know, where he lives, everybody has that accent. <laughs> Nate, I'm expecting um, I'm you, We in the United States do not have as many wonderful accents as some people overseas do. And so we love, we love a good New Zealand accent. Yes. Well, come on. Hey, okay. Hey. Do you want, okay. nine, Angela. Oh. Okay. Okay. Pam didn't hear it either. Oh. Nate, I know you're, I, I know you're not going to, because, you know, Nate is just, he's shy, oh. but. It's fantastic. Okay, Nate, I'm going to play it. Okay? And wait for <laughs> You're going to play it. It's so cute. Okay. Let me let me pull it up. <sighs> Nate, I loved it. And I played it for everybody at work. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have to start it up again. Sorry, I forgot to turn it because I turned it down. 
Da, da, da. Hold on, I'm gonna get it to go. Here's little Louie. It's coming, it's coming, I promise. Hold on. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, turning it up. Here we go. Greetings. Welcome to the voice mailbox of Christy Gaza. Christy is currently unavailable, but your call is important to her. Please leave a message after the tone. Now, that's the professional one. The second one is everything. Ready, watch, listen. Greetings. You have reached the voice mailbox of Christy Gaza. Christy is currently screening her calls. There's somebody she just doesn't want to talk to. If you don't receive a return call, it's probably you. Please leave a message <laughs> after the tone. Is he not fantastic? That is hilarious. <laughs> Nate, your voice is everything. Everything. Yeah, it is, okay? Nate. We, we love your voice. <laughs> Michelle, I would too. I would follow Nate in a Mordor. <laughs> I would yeah, too. Says, Oh my lord, I am so jealous. I cannot even stand you right now, Christy Garza. <laughs> I love it so much. I love it so much. It's like butter. Butter. <laughs> you have such a great voice, Nate. I absolutely yes, love Nate it. Does. <laughs> it's yeah, so good. So yeah, no, you've got you've got to um you, you, uh, Nate has just got such a great voice. And uh well, I mean, you've you've heard it before on his channel. Yeah, course, on his videos. On his videos. I mean, so this is nothing new, but I just, that's, isn't his sense of humor amazing? I just love yeah. that. Nate's funny. Yeah. Nate is so funny. Right, Louie? <laughs> yeah, and so, hold on, let me grab this over here. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, so, it's so cute, right? Oh my gosh. It's so, very, very cute. What did it, that's so embarrassing. No, it's not embarrassing, Nate. Nate, it's lovely. Oh my gosh, you have and an amazing funny voice. and adorable. It's just as adorable as little Louie here. And he calls me princess, and I love it. He's the only man <laughs> that's ever called me princess. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we all have a crush on Nate. That's Nate, right. Nate's fantastic. Oh my gosh. You got to return every call now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your busted Pam is going to take the fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's I, Nate is amazing. I asked him, you know, if he would do it. And he's like, yeah, I'll do it. I was, he was so sweet. You know, so I need a voicemail that says, you betcha. You betcha. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, oh hey Tammy, I'm sorry if I missed you earlier. Need <laughs> <laughs> a cigarette and a shot of whiskey now. <laughs> hey Tammy. So true, so true. But yeah, but y'all listen, I'm really glad you joined me. I know this went on for a really long time. I made such a mess, you have no idea. But I wanted y'all to see these amazing things and people. You know, or so kind to send me such beautiful things. And I mean, oh, I'm just so touched. It really means the world to me. And I treasure these things. And um, my uranium, God, love it. And my wedge. Oh, Nate didn't see the Wedgwood, bro. Oh, you got to show Nate the Wedgwood. Okay. Yeah, that, I got to say that pen. <laughs> Holy moly. Hold on, Nate. I got a lot of stuff going on here. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I set it down. Hold Louis on. is going to conk out. Tray. Oh, in my little tray. That's right. I had it in my little tray. Hold on. Where's of my little tray? Of course, Benny wants a Jane man. Where? In the box. You need to be in the box. Benny, I might not have a Jane Mansfeld coming your way, but I have some someone special in the name of. Oh, yeah, I uh, handed you the box right there. There it is. It's right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I got. I got to show Nate the Wedgwood brooch. Here, give it to me. Louis, Louis going to just have a little nap now. Uh, yeah. He's worn out. She was all curled up on the sofa. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm I'm looking for my. I put it. Oh wait, I didn't show you this. I'm sorry. One last thing. One last thing. Okay. Okay. One more thing, folks. Oh, here it is. It's over here. God bless America. It's the little cookies. Remember, I gave you the box of cookies. Okay, this is from Lyrics Vintage, and I needed you to see this, okay? Because this is really cute. Yeah, lyrics, lyrics is awesome. I love. I got the idea. Her, and I was she like, now ships to the United States, which is fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, I got this for my bathroom. Yep, Vinny. Aww. Look, Pam, isn't this so cute? It's this big. Okay, you can put little things here, and then look, it's a little cup. And isn't little it fantastic? Enamel. Look at the enamel, isn't it so cute? <laughs> Do you love it? I think that is so you, Christy. I love it. Okay, I'm glad you saw it. Okay, I wanted you to see that. I meant to show Katie earlier and I forgot. Okay. There we go. You have no idea all the boxes I have going on here. Hold on. I gave oh, them yeah. you, you should see me in my house after an unboxing. Everything is everywhere. It's crazy. Hold on. Wait. I did give mom the bit. Remember I gave you the box of cookies and I said, here, mom. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. It's I'm telling you, it's a mess right now. Got a little bit of behind the scenes thing. <laughs> but look, you can enjoy Louie napping. Yeah, talk amongst yourself. Hold on. This is the content you didn't know you needed at 1.16 in the morning. It was. Oh, my God. It's so late. I'm sorry. Hold on. Wait. I know, Mom, but I'm like, I literally. I just uh, did it. Oh, she's slipping. I'm they sorry. A little nappy. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Look, oh, she also sent me gingerbread, shortbread. Ooh, shortbread is good. Shortbread. Oh, right where is it? Is it right there? That's where it is. Thank you, mom. This is it. This is it. Okay. All right. We're gonna see the fabulous brooch. There it is. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Nate, you're here. Okay. Okay, Nate. Look at this. Dolores sent this to me as a gift, and it's. Amazing. Look. <gasps> oh, and the green. And it's green Jasperware, right? And yep, look. Jasperware. Now, Isn't Nate, would know what relief that is. What relief is that? Can you tell? I mean, I know I'm not doing this justice with this lighting and stuff. That is gorgeous. And it says Wedgwood on the back. Oh, it's so hard to see. I'm sorry. It's so hard to say. Well, I guess it would help if I opened the clasp and and did this. Well, Lord have mercy. It's really. I don't mm -hmm. even have a Wedgwood brooch. So oh, my gosh. Wedgwood made in England. It says S65. It's. Sorry, stinking uh, YouTube camera. I mean, not YouTube, but this is. Streaming art is always backwards. What do you What do you think, Nate? What What relief is it? Do you know? Nate, Nate can let you know too yeah. on IG if, if yeah, let me know on IG if you know Nate because we had to use Katie's computer brain earlier. <laughs> My computer <laughs> brains top beep, down. Boop, beep, boop, yeah. I challenged with some glass. <laughs> yes, it's so pretty. It it was I loved it. I loved it. Uh, she knows I I have this thing for Wedgwood now. It's all Nate's fault, but. It, Nate got got me into uh, me, yeah. the Wedgwood more. I mean, I already liked it, but I love it. Yeah. But anyways, but yeah, you would not believe the mess I have here. But if y'all missed anything, please go back and don't. I always forget to say this: if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. But I think all of y'all are your sister. It's one of a series of four releases known as the Floral Girls. He is just amazing. Nate's amazing. Oh, what time is it tomorrow place. over there, Nate? I don't know. What's the time difference? Oh, I don't have my watch on. Okay, hang on. Let me ask my Nate clock. Hey, Google, what time is it in Auckland, New Zealand? It's 5.18 p.m. in Auckland. Oh, wow, Nate. Oh, 5.20. Okay, okay. There you go, Nate. And, and I, I took off my watch to charge. But my Apple Watch has a time on it, on the, the dial, where you can put in a time for a different zone. So that's my Nate clock, and I have it set for Auckland. 
I have I have a um, New Zealand set in my phone so I can see what time it is. You know, if I need to know what time, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I don't want to wake up Nate. <laughs> Let me check and see before I DM him. But um, no, yeah, and a slag glass. I know Nate gets people started on these collections. How come I can't get people started on QP collections? But that's good that people think they're crazy. Well, then I get to have them all. The QPs are a little tad bit. They're crazy. fantastic. Oh, oh, and before I get off, let me tell you. I am going to be on Daniel's channel this Sunday. Sunday's July 4th, correct? Yes. This okay. Sunday. July 4th, I'm going to be on Daniel's Tacky Like Sunday Morning Show. So I really, really, really hope that y'all will tune in. That's Now, I'm not going to lie to you. That's a little early for me. I'm going to have to get up extra early and drink some coffee. <laughs> yeah. God help y'all if y'all tune in. But yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's gonna be fun, and he said I can talk whatever I want. If I want to talk about my QPC, he said sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Yes, yeah, so why not? Maybe make a campaign for uh, creepy. Uh, wait, cute, not creepy. Because <laughs> he said, listen, if they if they if they can handle Charlie, they can handle QPs. <laughs> The uh, floral girls were originally modeled by the super famous John Flaxman, 1776. <gasps> really? Oh, wow, Nate. Nate, when was this made? Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Nate, when was it made? All right, Louie. Well, I don't Are know. You, maybe it wasn't. I guess it's just reproduction. reproduction. That might be like a, like, not a reproduction, but you know what I'm talking about? Like, it was, it's modeled after modeled like it was like a 19 or 1776 but this isn't from 17 is it from 1776 or do they still Let's make see. this if this is from 1776 i'm gonna pee my pants nate <laughs> okay so yeah wow that's amazing it's beautiful i love it i love it oh my gosh i want to wear this tomorrow you should definitely wear it tomorrow. But then I'm just, oh God, I'm so afraid of anything happening to it. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. And it's so smooth. It feels so cool. I love it so much, Dolores. But you got to just love the things that you have. Okay. Uh, Nate's saying, yes, they use the same re relief for hundreds of years. Don't Okay. Okay. Tippy, you're embarrassing me. Yeah. John Flaxman was the guy that created it in 1776. Okay. Happy oh, Louie. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. You're so but good. Louis, You're a wealth of information. See, you got you have these specialists that we all have in our community. Yes. Kate's the glass person. And then you got Nate with the Wedgwood. And, and the, the silver. And the silver. And and then like Pam, like sometimes if I don't know, I'm like, Pam, is this too much to pay for this? And I'll send her a picture. And sometimes like uh Tim, I'm like, Tim. <laughs> Tell me, is this legit? <laughs> you know, it's like. And we got we got Louie here, who is the expert of all food. She she will test everything to make sure it's safe and not jello. And not jello. She won't eat the jello. She will not eat the jello. Oh, oh, wait, but this is super important. Katie is so, so close to oh, uh, yeah. 2,000 subs. Now, let me tell y'all. Let me put okay. Louie down first. because Okay, so well, as you know, Katie has, well, she has several new t-shirts out. And, of course, Angela has made, like, these iconic, like, jello shirts for Katie. And they're beautiful. And I I, I went ahead and, and took my hand at just designing one for Katie. Okay. And I made, uh, which one was it? The, the Katie. It was, it was the jello shirt. Let me jello show. Jello Emporium. You. Katie's Jello Emporium. Yes. And uh, Katie's ordered her. She's going to have her soon. But we're listen, you know how we all love to watch Katie eat disgusting Jello <laughs> creations. We found a good one. <laughs> Let me show you. Y'all are going to feel sorry for one. Katie, okay? But if she, if y'all help her get to 2000, she is going to make this and eat it. And eat it live. And eat it live. Just the look of it disgusts me. <laughs> what is it? There it is. Ugh. It it's is natural. shrimp, hard-boiled eggs, and cucumbers. Oh, okay. Ugh. And 
Excellent. <laughs> and Katie hates cucumbers, y'all. That she I do. I love day. the cucumber. <laughs> and yep. I mean, yes, it's going to wiggle. It's going to jiggle. Can you imagine? Mm. We also show have them, this show them the we meat one. It. Show them the meat one. That's the one that really gross, grossed me yeah, out. There were two meat ones. This one is like a meat paste. with. Oh. Bologna. No, and show the other one. It almost looks like bologna in there. Oh, that one. Okay, let me see if I can find that one. But oh, we'll just eat it twice one. when Misty comes in late. <laughs> With egg and meat and jalapeno and something else. Now, the meat one was nasty. Gabrielle, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> okay, Gabrielle, Katie wants to get some butts in the seat. <laughs> Okay. She wants people. She wants people to show up, and we we want to get her to two thousand. The meat was absolutely nasty. So let me go back up and find that one. It was really gross. It was so gross. But you know, Katie, she's willing to do this for like it's a, it's supposed to be like these summer Jello salads. Oh, <laughs> Why are y'all trying to kill Katie? <laughs> putrid. This was her idea. This one. <laughs> Asparagus, hard-boiled egg, and some it, sort of bologna. It looks like bo it's bologna. Just yep, sliced kind of up in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so real. The word head cheese makes me puke. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's really not a, a good word. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, so we um, got to get Katie to... Two now people aren't going to want to get you to 2000 because they feel sorry for you. <laughs> No, I want to reach 2,000 subscribers. So here's the deal. I will eat this if we get to 2,000. So if you want to see me eat this and cook this on YouTube, you got to make sure you uh, share with your friends. She will be wearing her Jello Emporium shirt. Yep. I don't have it now, but I will. I will have it soon. Show them the pick of the Jello Emporium yep. shirt in case people. I'll show you the Jello shirt with the bluish background. Yeah, there we are, folks. Louie. and it says, uh -uh. "Louie, come here." And it says, "Katie's Louis. Jello Emporium. All the flavors. What does it say? All the flavors you want, and some you don't, and some you don't." <laughs> Katie, I will go on with you for support. <laughs> well, Peterson, that would be great. I'll need it. I almost think, well, this one's pretty nasty too because I don't know what the green is. Ooh. With the weird colored like cantaloupe. What if it's avocado or something? Ew. And it looks like it has like chili. Oh. In the middle or something. Is that cucumbers along the edge? Yeah, but they look like they're yellow. They're pink. Right? <gasps> Dolores, so, you just ordered the shirt. Oh, I'm so glad you liked yay, it. Yay, yay, Dolores. This one has olives. It's called Gooseberry Sparkle. Oh, that's just nasty. I like olives, but I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. That's a little gross. Louie, come here. Louie's into something now, folks. Oh, and this is the dreaded one. Ring around the tuna. But that's the one you made last time, right? I've never made this one, but I'm saving it for something I might be able to do with Jamie at Mint Century Wasted. Okay. I, just, I, I think this would be such a good... I mean, well, I mean, like I said, we want to get Katie to 2000. We can do it. We can do it. And well, she'll be wearing her new Jello shirt. When Louie's not eating something, she's not supposed to. Oh. Louie, Louie. But yeah, so yeah, I'll just... Ashio Jello, no thank you. Dolores ordered the shirt I designed. Yay! Yay! Thank Yay, you guys Dolores. so much for ordering merch. I appreciate it. I think yeah, it's designed for fun. And I couldn't have done that without Christy Garza at To Be Wings Vintage and oh. Angela Berksbury, my two... Uh, wonderful friends here in the community that help put stuff together. We love Katie so much. Katie is our glue that holds us all together. I just love her. Good. Yeah. Love you so much. But yeah, we, yes. And look, Gabby's going to get her, her husband and <laughs> daughter, daughter, daughter 
to sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great, Gabrielle. Oh yeah, yeah. no. We're, and like I said, we're we love Katie. We support her. Hi, Belinda. Hi. Hi Belinda. Thank you for coming. We've been Belinda, awesome. Belinda's my fellow bring back the brooch lady. Yes, bring back the hashtag bring back the brooch. I feel I, I we oh god, we 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 showed a lot, Belinda. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, we've been on a long time. Mom's like, oh my God, look at the time. But yeah, okay. <laughs> but no, and, and like I said, we, we want to support Katie and get her to 2,000 subs and we can do it. We can do it. And, um, you know, and of course, and, and to all the resellers that I featured here, thank you. Y'all do an excellent job. And of course, we have Pam in the chat and she's fantastic. And uh, I have some stuff coming from Pam that I got from Pam and from a uh, vintage conversation and also from um, a vintage uprising, Texas, some things that I've gotten that I have to show y'all. And uh, but I mean, like I said, we're just, I love our community. They're so sweet and they're so giving. And I love how we all come and support each other. Yes, absolutely. We have one stellar group of people here. Amazing, amazing people. And, uh, so no, and I and I hope you know that we we all care about y'all. We love you. We love seeing you in the chat. It's like always hanging out with friends. And I love mm -hmm. that we can all talk about things that we're really passionate about. Absolutely, that's the best part. Mm -hmm. We all help each other learn and share information, and it's just great. And hopefully, we will get to we will get to meet everyone because there's so many people in the mm -hmm. chats that I want to meet. I mean, because people talk about like, oh, we're gonna meet this reseller, reseller. But I mean, I want. I mean, there's so many people that that are not resellers that I would love to meet. I'd love yes. To meet Peter, That's why we need Linda a and Nate. And, you know, just like, you know, of course, all the, I've never met Pamela Blanchard. I think I'd fangirl out on Pamela Blanchard. <laughs> and Scott from the old curiosity shop. <laughs> oh my God. When Randy met Scott, she sent me the picture of her. And I was like, okay, number one, did not know Vinny was that tall. Vinny is tall. Vinny is tall. Yep. I was like, are you kidding me? He didn't play basketball. I mean, he is tall. And then it's like, Scott, I'm not kidding. I squealed and her I, I left her like I was <laughs> voice messaging Randy. And I'm like, I her husband was just like laughing because it was crazy. I'm like, oh my God, Scott. <laughs> That's who I would fangirl out on. And I'd try to hold it in and hold compose myself. But I and I've never, ever, ever gotten like, because, you know, like he had like Scott has his auctions on eBay. And there was one thing that y'all I knew I couldn't live without. And I'll show it to you in the next haul. It is amazing. And yeah, Vinny, yes, Vinny, I was so jealous. I was so jealous of you and Randy. Oh my God. But I want to meet you, Vinny. My goodness, Vinny, you are. Yeah, I want to meet Vinny too. Isn't Vinny good looking? That's a good looking guy. Well, Vinny well, is a fantastic guy. And let me tell you, he is a good listener because he pays attention to what people like down to a T. And man, he sent me some amazing things. And, and, Randy told me, she goes, oh my gosh, Vinny was so sweet and he is such a gentleman, just so polite, just the sweetest person. And I was like, yeah, I figured, I figured he would. Yep, he I did. Yeah, yeah. Vinny, Vinny's awesome. Oh yeah. No, he's a doll. She just, she said she had such a good time and that Scott was so, so nice. And I'm like, I know. I love that. You know, like when he, like he, like he shows his little cup of coffee thing. He's like, yes. And it makes you want coffee. I don't know what song that is. I want to know what song that is. It is the cutest song. And I wish they had it like on Instagram. So you could use it like for like jingles the story. Oh my gosh. But I think like it's probably from his own collection of things that he's collected and you know, but yeah, I, I uh, want ginger snaps and coffee. I, too, when I see him. <laughs> You know, I mean, whenever I see him showing stuff, I want a cup of coffee and I want a ginger snap. Yep, exactly. No, I, I, and it always makes me want coffee. And my mom too, she's like, oh no, now we're going to have to have coffee. And it can be late at night. Cause when we hear when we see Scott, we're like, I'm such a big fan. I'm so, that, I think that's who I would fangirl out on Pamela Blanchard. She is fantastic. And I would fangirl out on her. And I think I'd probably scare her a little bit. I mean, I already <laughs> scare her. <laughs> I see Vinny is saying he's six foot three inches. Wow, Vinny. Six three. 
I was like, oh my gosh. I Yeah. Like, do you have to duck going through doorways sometimes? I mean, that's tall. You know, I'm five foot three. And so I'm not that tall. But I remember going into, uh, we have a Leitner. It's called the Leitner Museum. It's in St. Augustine. And they've got, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think they have the world's largest collection of a million, uh, American uh, Brilliant Glass. It's an amazing, amazing exhibit. And they've had, they have all kinds of rotating things that come in. So I was down visiting with a friend and I had, mind you, not been in this museum since I was like maybe seven or eight years old with my mom. So going back as an adult was really fun because, you know, it was neat to see all these things. But the, the building is an old hotel. It was the Alcazar Hotel. So all the doorways are really short. Uh -huh. We got up on the second floor and there was a narrow doorway that I had to actually shimmy in through the side and duck. And I was like, I'm five foot three. <laughs> like, how short must have been people back then? Back then, because I mean, I'm short and <laughs> this doorway is tiny. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, when, when, and Randy told me, I'm like, oh my God, Randy, he looks really tall. She's like, he's six three. I'm like, I had no idea. Well, you, when you see him in his videos, he's sitting down. Well, Vinny, I always say being tall has an, has its advantages because you can reach the cookie jar. <laughs> you can reach everything, like in the grocery store. I always, yeah. I always, the Lord blesses me whenever I need something from the very back of the top shelf. He has always put a tall person where I can go and like, can you please get this for me because I'm too short. Oh, I've stood on the bottom shelf of a grocery store thing trying to get something from the top. And then some uh, tall gentleman will come by and say, do you need help? I'm like, yes, thank you. I need that box third one. To the left. <laughs> no, yeah, it's a bit. Yeah. When when Randy sent me that picture, I was like, I almost peed in my pants. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, Vinny, Vinny, so I'm sure that's very nice. You're so yes, sweet. You're a true gentleman. Oh, yeah. Wait, Peterson, how tall are you? I think Peterson maybe is tall. I'm five one. I'm short. <laughs> I'm super short. Now, see, my mom is very tall compared to me. So I don't... wow, Peterson, really five six? That's amazing, Peterson. That's such a weird thing. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> it's just I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm so short, and I was just like, ugh, you know. But yeah, it sucks when you have to get something off a high shelf and you can't get it. Yeah. You know, I have actually a, a step stool in my closet so that I can get to all of my hats. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you know, I've got one of those little grabber thingies to get things from. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't reach it, you know, but. Mm. I wanted to get one of those, you know, when you go into like stores or haberdasheries or, you know, anything that has things up high and, and they're a higher end store. And you know, they have those poles that, you know, for closets that you can like magically pull down the shirt and mm -hmm. it's all, you know, I wanted one of those for my hats and they sell them very inexpensively for like $4 on Amazon, mm -hmm. but they don't make the hook right. So you can hang hats up and down. So um, they work for shirts, but they don't work for hats. So, you know, the step stool works. <laughs> No, well, Katie's got an amazing hat collection. It's so beautiful. And I love I love that outfit. That's like Christy my favorite outfit. She has. This is Christy's favorite. I think the polka dots are just kind of happy. <laughs> Look at Pam. Damn, we go from uranium glass envy to anatomy envy. We are a twisted bunch. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Because Pam, Pam's going to say, y'all too, we are. We get that in the chat we're in and we'll sit there and we'll start talking about different stuff food in particular. It's just this weird, like, it, and we don't even know where we started. And then after all the voice messages go back and forth, you'll get Pam and they're like, y'all are just getting too weird for me. <laughs> I know. Because oh, the Picasso cat. Hey, Joey. Picasso cat. Yes, that's right. Peterson. We got to be weird to make the world go round. You know, somebody's got to do it. Might as well be us. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we got, and, and, and Katie, how you doing? Oh, no, I can't do this. Now, look, Dee tried to teach me and she's like, I can't teach you. I'll try it again. <laughs> okay, let, let, let's see if I can do it again this time. 
How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? That's to be the voice passages all over again. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I can't. I'm a Friends fanatic. I love Joey. And I cannot channel my inner Joey. And it was like all these messages in a row that were just like, how you doing? And we're like, no, Katie, it's how you doing? She's how like, you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You, you know, you know the, the movie, I love you, man. And he's trying to say slap in the bass, Paul Rudd's character. And the guy's like, you sound like a leprechaun. <laughs> That's me. How you do? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do. It was so funny. It was like 15, 20 messages of how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And so how you doing? Pam comes in. They're like, y'all are just getting too weird for me. <laughs> and then Carrie the next day is like, I. I and that's the worst thing because when you wake up the next day and there's like 20 something messages or, or 30 something like that one morning 50, I woke up <laughs> you have to catch up on and you're like uh uh at one point Pam's just like mm -mm, no no she's you're like gonna, I, I, I need the summary for me what's the summary here what's the summary because that's just too many that's just too many because <laughs> you don't know some of it's like really thought provoking things and then some of it's like hmm what kind of packing tape would I use for that? What kind of what kind of bubble wrap? What size box could I get? <laughs> yeah, there's a mixture of, well, how do I put this in pirate ship? Or what size bubble wrap do I use? And then there's, I don't like the middle part of the lettuce, which was my comment. <laughs> I have a weird thing about lettuce, y'all. That, did, that was... did you tell them about the lettuce thing? No. So I, I'm weird. I know I'm weird. So I'm waving my weird flag and I'm totally okay with it. But I don't like the crunchy part. Now, listen, I know that's why people but like you didn't that. call it the crunchy part. She's like, I don't the like the middle part. The middle part. And I'm like, what the heck is she talking about? And me and Angela are like, what are you talking about? And and Pam's like, I understand what she said, baby. I understand it. And I was like, but it was. It was like, you know, literally, she's like, and, and Katie was just cracking herself up because was, she, it made me laugh because I was trying to explain this and I couldn't. And then I just busted out laughing. Yes. And she just started busting and she was just tickling herself with the fact that she kept on saying the middle part of the lettuce. And, and I mean, that's all she could say over and over again was the middle part of the lettuce. And then I was like, the crunchy part, the watery, nasty part. And I'm like, what the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Okay, she said, that's it. not what you called it. You said I don't like the hard part. Oh, that was <laughs> the hard part, which sounds way worse. It sounds way worse. I'm like, what the heck is she talking about? But yeah, that. Yeah, in a fancy pants restaurant, they cut that out. Yeah, yeah see, that's why I like I like you know flat lettuce is what I said. Not yeah, she was, I like the flat lettuce. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And literally, <laughs> she was just. But she kept on laughing and laughing and laughing because she could not articulate so that we could understand even though like it made sense to Pam it, it, it no matter it how made sense it, we, could not get it. I, yeah. we also had a full discussion on cilantro and how much Carrie and I do not care for cilantro because it has a weird flavor now look I'm not, I'm not too much of a picky eater she said then I then she said I just like the flat <laughs> Which, I mean, you know, makes me sound like an insane person. I just like the flat lettuce. The flat lettuce. It was. It was just. It was the. You had to be there, but it was. It was crazy. And like I said, and then when Katie starts laughing and she just starts giggling and giggling and, and it doesn't stop, and we're like, then we're laughing because she's laughing at these things. I'm like, if I get really tickled, I I can get into a laughing fit. Like the whole, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Vinny likes cilantro. I will say, Vinny, I love the, the rice and the guac at Chipotle. So I guess for me, I don't like like big chunks of it on top of something. But if it's in something, I guess that's okay. I, 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 I like tacos, though.
Yeah. And but you no. Know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Becky, that's true. If I can eat those jello recipes, I can eat anything. You can eat anything. Okay. Well, look, I've kept everybody on here long enough. I'm sorry. I, I know everybody has to get to sleep. Cilantro tastes like soap. Some people Gabrielle say that it does. For some people, it tastes like soap. Wait, is that you, Katie? You think it tastes like soap? No, Gabrielle just said to some people. Oh, it tastes there's like soap. A, yeah, there's, there's uh, some people that it's like, that's how it tastes. And I used to like it. It's weird. I, I used to eat a lot of it. And then for some reason, one day I had it and I was like, I don't. What is this flavor? It's it's horrible. And I don't know, maybe I just had like a bad experience at a restaurant or something that changed my view. Yeah, okay. Benny and I are on the same page. <laughs> no, when when Katie visits us in Texas, we will take her to all these places and feed her all these things. That are amazing. To it. And yeah. I want to eat everything you guys have. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, uh, and Pam's been to Texas before. I'm sure she goes to Louisiana all the time. Well, I mean, she's been, she's got family in Louisiana. I don't know, Pam, you've been to Texas, right? A bunch of times, probably. I mean, it's just like, hop on over. Just boom, there it yes, is. Pamela, it's the romaine lettuce. The, the, the hard, watery part of the romaine lettuce I don't care for. And I love, I know, I, I love butter weird. lettuce. A butter lettuce is everything. I love butter lettuce. Yeah, and, and, and I like... Um, Oh, heck, what is it called? Uh, comes in the shreds. That's that's so not helpful. Um, Pam's never been to Texas. What? Oh, I love spicy food, Becky. And I love oyster stuffing that Peterson's talking about. I could eat my weight in oyster stuffing or dressing. What? Do you, do you see that? She's never been to Texas. Have you never been to Texas? How could you have been I mean, to Louisiana and not jumped over just like pop right next door? The last time I've been to Texas, Texas, I was probably 12 years old and I went to visit my grandparents and then they moved. So I haven't been back since. Well, y'all need to come. Y'all need, need to come, come to Texas. It'll be fun. You have a good time. And I see someone's asking about my lighting. I just have two ring lights. One is... I only have one. I don't even know what brand this is. Um, Sun Pack. There you go. Sun Pack. <clears throat> That's the secret. I just and have I, one. I have <laughs> I'm using a webcam. I just use my Mac uh, web. Katie web. always has like great lighting. Yeah, it's a it's a Christmas miracle, folks, because it wasn't like that in the beginning. <laughs> Picasso cat, I drove to and, Texas. And and there was a time when Louie had eaten the cord to my big ring light, so I just had a rinky dinky little 1920s gooseneck lamp I was using for a while. So I'm I'm glad that it's all squared now. No. Christmas Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Or Katie cracks up when she says, What kind of sorcery is this? It's like, <laughs> yeah, well, what kind of sorcery is this? this? Yeah. So, I don't know. Oh, wait. What did she say? My family's in New Orleans. is a little more than a hop to Texas. Yeah, that's true from New Orleans. I've never yeah, been to New Orleans, though, and I would uh, love to go to New Orleans. Go back. I've been to Louisiana, but not New Orleans. All of my stepmom's family is from New Orleans. And so, uh, when we have Easter with my dad, Black Friday, my stepmom's dad flies in fresh crawfish <gasps> from New Orleans and shrimp. <clears throat> And the whole thing. And they, they have tables. I mean, huge card tables outside with newspaper. And they just dump. I mean, it's as much as you can eat. And everybody just goes to town. Yeah. No. it's it's. And I want to go have a beignet. <sighs> Beignets are so good. I want a beignet. And I want, yeah. There's so many things I want to eat. Uh, a muffaletta. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things. It all has to do with food. Okay. <laughs> Because food is life, you definitely it's have life. to uh, eat. Life. To, you definitely have to uh, live to eat, not eat to live. That's right. That's right. But like, and because um, even if Pam doesn't get to come to Texas, I will. will we, we can arrange it so I can meet you in in New Orleans, Pam. We can all go to New Orleans. Yes, Jody, Maine is the best lobster. It really is. 
Martha, let's go to New Orleans and meet Pam. Okay, we need a, a road trip. Road trip. And road we trip. need a company picnic soon. <laughs> Vinny's like, I visited Texas back in 2016. I don't know how y'all deal with that heat. <laughs> no, oh, let me tell yeah. you. My friend who she's like, okay, so she had never been to Vegas before and she just came back from Vegas. And I've been to Vegas several times, but it, I said, wasn't the heat amazing? <laughs> she's like, because it's so humid here. I mean, like the heat and the humidity, the humidity is what mm -hmm. kills you. And she, she's like, oh my God, it was amazing. And like everybody else is like, oh my God, it's so hot. We're like, no, it's that dry <laughs> heat. It's like, it's amazing because you're like, I can live with this. I mean, from what I'm used to, to like, I can live with that. Well, it, it's supposed to get to 99 tomorrow here, or well, rather today. And I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I don't know what's supposed to get up to tomorrow, but it's been pretty hot. But the humidity is just something else, you know? And that's how come, like, I was so freaked out when I went to, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Vegas. And I was like, oh, my God, this heat is amazing. Because like, oh, yeah, everybody's complaining about the heat. It's fantastic. Heat. Yeah. But I, I would love to go to Vegas just purely for the lighted sign museum. So they have a museum with all of the old lighted signs from like the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And they've restored them and they give you a whole tour of these signs. And since I like photography, I think doing night photography with some of the lighted signs on the strip would be just amazing yes and the food i hear the buffets are just heaven <laughs> yeah yeah no it's muggy and hot here now we had a sprinkle and it just brought up the humidity and it made the fires around us super smoky Ugh. okay yeah it's 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 so hot it's so hot but no it's, but i mean i i love i love houston i love living here um even with the humidity and stuff like that and i have to bring uh Pam and Katie to visit and Angela. They have not been here. I wish all y'all could come because I know that everybody wants to, because like all the resellers talk about having like a meet together. And I think they figured out the most central location is Kansas. But I mean, I feel like there are some people that maybe would like to come to the South. I'll drive anywhere. <laughs> See? I mean, I don't know. I just think New Orleans would be so much fun because of the history. Oh, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just, I want to see all of that. The Garden District. I mean, I love that it's so drenched in history. I mean, yeah, there's history in Texas too and stuff like that. But I just, I, I want to go see uh, New Orleans so bad. Yeah. You know? I, I think it would be fun. And with Pam, forget it. It would be hilarious. <laughs> you know, Pam's a pistol. But yeah, but okay. Well, okay. Well, we all oh, look book bewitched. Yeah. Oh, good. Something. Oh, good. Yes. And, and if you see, I want, oh, oh, Dolores, I just want to get back to Texas. Yes. I'm I bet you do, Dolores. And she's going to be coming back. Lord willing, Lord willing, Christmas. Dolores will be here for Christmas, Lord willing. And we have to, because I, I can't wait to just give her a big hug. We yeah. got to go eat. We got to hit the water burgers, the Shipley donuts, the <laughs> Shipley donuts. Uh, We're going to hit it all. <laughs> We're going to hit it all. Because Shipley donuts is an institution. Okay. And I think they've got Shipley donuts and, you know, I think Pam's got Shipley donuts over there. We don't have Shipley donuts here. They're delicious and it will change your life, Katie. But you've never also had a pumpkin donuts from Sonati's here, which is people will line up around the building to get Sonati's pumpkin donuts, which is a local bakery here. They don't, it's don't not know. a chain. Is it like a spice cake? Does it taste like a spice cake? It's hard. It's not like pumpkin spice, but, but it's hard to explain. It's like a cake donut with a light frosting and it's, it's like pumpkin pie flavored. Oh. It's just so good. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I don't know. Cause okay. Like somebody saying like Krispy Kremes, Kris Krispy Kremes and Shipley's are very different. I mean, they're not, it's not the same. It's not the same kind of donut. I don't know how to even articulate it. Right. Dolores Krispy Kremes are different. Bye Nate biscuit. And it's not a cake donut. Bye Nate. Uh, it's not a cake donut. Shipley donuts are, it's like a donut, but 
I don't know. They just, they're ta they taste different. It's, it's not. Tim Hortons is good, Joni. Yeah. You can't, you can't, I don't know. I don't know if, what, if they make donuts that taste like that. It, it's just a different taste, you know? So I don't know. I can't articulate. I guess you just have to see it. But if you go on YouTube, I'm sure there are people that have like done the, you know, like where you, people that taste Whataburger for the first time or people that taste Shipley donuts and stuff. They're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And they have, and we have kolaches, which some people have never heard of kolaches. Yes. And I just heard about them and they sound so good. They're delicious. Kolaches are delicious, but yeah, it's, I'll, I'll like them. Okay, those are my favorite. Okay, I haven't had a donut in almost two years. In two years? They two just like years the treasure. Now, Becky, I don't know. I could do that. Oh, I couldn't do that. I have to have donuts. That's the thing. Hot Shipley donuts are amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make Hot Dolores like Christmas Christmas cream is our equivalent here. Yeah. Kolache. Yeah, kolaches. Kolaches are fantastic. And it's like it's like pigs in a blanket, kind of, but it's just I love them. And you can get them with jalapeno here, like, uh, like sausage and jalapeno or ham and cheese, kolache. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's pretty good. The big girl. Oh, too. I do. I love a donut with caramel on it, Benny. Yeah. And Shipley says lots of different flavors, but you, you like I said, you come, we're going to feed you donuts. It'll be good. <laughs> But okay, y'all, I'll, I'll let you go because, I mean, it's already going to be one in the morning. It's one in the morning here. Yep. It's, it's almost 2 a.m. here. So I got to hit the hay. <laughs> I said I put up this mess. I made such a mess. Dolores, thank you again for all my treats. And Michelle, if you're still here, thank you for everything you sent me. I just loved it. And my shortbread, I'm so excited about the shortbread. I can't wait. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking up. forward to eating with my, my biscuit uh, tray With my fancy biscuit tray. Digestive, that's right. Your digestive biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I, I, but yeah, I'm so excited about this. I kind of want to open them right now. I'm sorry. But yeah, listen, y'all. I really appreciate y'all showing up and listening to me prattle on and stuff. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> Katie, they need to start paying you. Like, I need a sponsorship for <laughs> McVitie's Digestive. And we're going we're gonna to have to find you recipes for digestive biscuits. It's a little ice cream cone. Made in the UK by McVitie's Customer Services. Mm, this is good. Mm, these are good, Dolores. McVitie's biscuits have been baked to perfection with British recipes since 1839. The no original fun. digestive was first made in 1982, and they are still made with the most wholesome, finest ingredients. Digestives. Get a pack today. <laughs> you need to do that like... Katie's Jello Jello Challenge Day is brought to you by Doo -doo -doo. Hi, Digestives. Get a pack today at your local supermarket. Five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're we gonna eat. Now? Yeah, no snacks. Um, snacks. Yep. But she knew. She knew the Texas heat. Don't send nothing that would melt. She knew. And so these are perfect because they don't melt. She knew. So <laughs> Yeah, we're just flap happy now, Peterson. I think it's time that we Okay. Uh, okay, we're going. We're going. Okay. Life, okay. Thank y'all. Thank you for everything. And I'm so glad we got to spend this time with you. We just love y'all so much. As a base for cheesecake. Oh, that's mm, good. Dolores. I gotta look into that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All, All right, right, folks. Love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye. See you Bye, friends. Bye.